Hello, hello, how's everybody doing? Oh, I forgot to check the microphone. Is it okay today? I was doing weird things yesterday. Probably do weird things again today. That's how things have been going lately. <laughs> how's everybody doing? Two days in a row, I know, right? I know. Because we had, uh, we were late a day on yesterday, so. We're back on track now. This gets us back on track. Everybody have a good Tuesday. Pulse watches Pearl watch Tango do Redstone. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I, I always tune into Pearl's stream as I'm setting up for this one just to see what she's up to, you know? A lot of streams going on right now. Who else is streaming other than Pearl? I didn't see. Oh, I forgot to check, uh, set my status. That's right, we gotta do that. Bop, bop. Oh, the only people that marked it was me. Cleo streaming? Oh, but not on Hermitcraft. Okay. I was gonna say, I don't see her on the list. <laughs> is Gal stream this morning? Nice. Oh yeah, yeah. He he's uh he's a uh, he works like normal UK hours. <laughs> My portal killed you. How? What portal? Is there no is there no uh nether dimension or something on the bedrock? Like I noticed that uh oh I forget who put out a video yesterday. I forget their name. They they were afraid to go in the portal, it seemed like. Was a little worried our, our uh, yeah, Toy Cat. I, I was a little worried our our world download was going to be too much for Bedrock to handle. <laughs> it's it's barely enough for Java to handle with all the all the mods to uh, to make the game run. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's who it was. IBX Toy Cat. I don't know how to say their name. I don't know much about them. My base is dangerous, of course. Of course. Yeah, don't fall off the side. Don't fall off the side, that's for sure. Are the, did the lights work? Yellow. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Um, so there are some things in the city we're going to try to avoid today. B-dubs is, uh, you know, I don't know, if you were in the stream yesterday, you heard what he was going to do. So he's he's actively working on it. So I'm going to do my best to not spoil what he's up to. We're going to work on some other stuff. Um, I got a few just like chores, basically. B-dubs is B-dubbing. Exactly. Yeah. He's got seven buildings to build, apparently. He crazy. I like him, but he's crazy. <laughs> Glad I'm streaming while you're working. All right. Get that work done while you're uh, listening, casually watching. Did he get his grocery list? Yeah, uh, I helped him with it a little bit last night. Um, we were hanging out, <laughs> and uh, one of the bigger... Oh, well, see, even telling you what kind of materials we gathered is a bit of a exclusive preview, isn't it? Um, but we spent some time collecting. Well, let me show you the the leftovers over here. This is the part that he didn't need. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> you can figure out what we were collecting. It's a pain. It's a pain. You got your shingles vaccine today. One of two shots. Ouchie. Well, were you inspired after Skiz got shingles to get the vaccine? <laughs> I know Green has a farm, but he has not opened a shop yet, and when he does, it's going to be expensive. Like, I'm still not, like, super rich. So, yeah. I guess I could have asked him if I could use his farm, but it was okay. B-Dubs and I were just planting some mushrooms and, and kicking back and and uh, harvesting the stems. Wing Dam a bear thank you so much for the 100 bits. It's your birthday today. Well, happy birthday to you. Am I ready for this? I am I ready for this. <laughs> have a happy birthday, winged Emma. Oh, oh, it was your birthday. Oh, it's today. Yeah. Have a have a happy birthday today. Hope you have a good one. Minty Mag Pie, thanks for the 100 bits. Oh, we got a raid coming in. Welcome raiders. Welcome, welcome. Man, I used to have this really cool thing that would go off when we get raids. It would sound like the in-game raids, you know. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. I don't know what happened to it. It just disappeared. Just like my buttons on my stream deck yesterday just disappeared. I got a couple of them back. <laughs> hey, Pearl. Thanks for the raid. Way to go putting Tango on the spot. Do Redstone on stream. I could, I could, I could hear him sweating. <laughs> I could hear him sweating. Oh, man. 
Redstone on stream is terrifying. Brain just goes into lockup, lock, complete lockup mode, and we just look like we have no idea what we're doing. Kamikaze, thank you so much for the five gift sub bomb. Tango did a great job. He got it. He got it, though. <laughs> I wasn't going to, like, step in and, 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 you know, armchair quarterback his his work. I knew Tango's a smart guy. I knew he was going to get there. <laughs> it's early morning for him. You know, Tango, I was actually surprised to hear his voice this early. Usually, he's just rolling out of bed this time, as far as I know. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I'm explaining. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Uh, there's a couple things I want to do. Let me think about what we need first before I put that back on. Um, we're going to need obsidian. I have plenty of obsidian. Yeah, okay. I'll just take this. I was going to say out at the out of the farm. But uh, I guess I got a portal to move. So let's do that first. Uh, we'll probably get some cyan dye today. Maybe collect a little bit of terracotta. And what's the title of my stream say? Uh, up our quartz game. Yes. That's what we need to do. So I think we're going to, I think we're going to bite the bullet and get some villagers. Get the, uh, the masons that will actually sell quartz, right? The masons. What do we need for that? Jem can kill me all she wants. I only have 23 levels now. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I had to watch that back. Stone cutters. Thank you. Yes. We're going to need some stone cutters. Okay. We'll need some carrots. Okay. We'll take things. <laughs> Cub was here. I want to know what's in that. I really want to know what's in that. What happened to my levels? Uh, yesterday on stream, I poked the bear. And I got my comeuppance. <clears throat> yep. Let's just make sure we're okay. <laughs> Bear name Jeff. Yeah, VOD's on the second channel. I posted that this morning if you're uh if you really want to see what happened there. Yeah, it was just uh, 728 levels. Uh, no biggie. Okay. Wings. Okay, first we need to go find the other portal. We're gonna fly. Man, my nose is itchy today. Allergies have been bad here where I live. Like, every I don't usually get bad allergies, but it's been hitting me last couple days. And my family, the rest of my family who does suffer from allergies are a mess. Oh, I feel so bad for them. Okay. Old school nether. We gotta go. We gotta go find our old portal. Allergies! Yeah. <laughs> it's the worst. Toxic Joe, thanks for the 100 bits. Hope the shocks have treated you well. Been using them. Thank you, Toxic Joe. Been using them. Uh, yeah, at the gym. It's it's kind of crazy to be able to still hear what's going on around me and and uh, the music crystal clear at the same time. Shocks headset. It's cool. They work great. I haven't even had to charge them yet. I've used them like ten times or something. Truncate Venus. Thanks for the three hundred bits. Lewis Scoops. Thanks for the hundred bits. Did you hear about the Hermitcraft Season 9 map being on Minecraft Bedrock? Absolutely, yeah, I tweeted about it last night as well. Um, yeah, I knew about it. Uh, I it, It's it's something that Zuma and I have been working on for a while, mainly Zuma. I, just m my name's attached to it somewhere, somehow. <laughs> so, yeah. Sad without the mods. I know, and then I saw, like, the player heads aren't our player heads and stuff, and yeah, it's... And it's in, like, a Nintendo Switch struggles with a lot of the stuff we made. Because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to download it on my Nintendo Switch and walk around and look at the world that way. But I heard, I, I saw some posts that it's, like, pretty rough on the Switch. Just not enough processing power. Sub to Mumbo. Thanks for the five gift sub, Mom. Thank you. That's so cool, though, that... The people are on Bedrock are able to walk around and explore our world. Uh, it's it's got to be a lot different than in watching videos, right? Those of you that have like done it, either on the Java version that was released, you know, a while back, or on the Bedrock version that released yesterday. Is it a trip? Does it feel surreal walking around our world? Oh, I can do this. Does Decked Out Two work now? Nah, there was no way to get the, the redstone to work. Oh, 
NC. And Nether, I think. No, I don't actually... I just need to know where we're at here. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I'm going to write this down. Whisper to me that we are targeting negative 365er and negative 235. Am I right? Negative 365, negative 235. Bang. Okay. It's early. I want to make sure I'm not making any mistakes. Both negatives. Got the right number. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay. Close your ears. Never mind. I'll turn it down. I'll turn the game down. Uh, I'm professional. Professional. I'm leaving it. Obsidian's free for me now. I stole Zed's armor? What? What are you talking about? What do you mean I stole Zed's armor? Professional. Yeah, I have my knobs back today. That sounds bad. I, the, the, on my stream deck that has dials, dials, better word, dials. I have dials that I can turn down. <laughs> my uh, system sounds, voice chat, game sounds, and music. Jam, stop it! <laughs> I tried. I caught, I caught it. I caught it, okay? I'm, I totally played that off. Never happened. Lewis Scoops, thanks for the 125 bits. Another question, do you know if this season and future seasons will come out on Bedrock? Uh, we hope to. Yeah, we hope to. There's a lot of logistics behind getting our, our worlds uh, converted to Bedrock and posted on the marketplace. Um, there's a there's a lot of, there's a lot of things it takes to actually get through um, posting stuff on the marketplace. Checks and balances and um, a lot of requirements, world size and Stuff like that. So, yeah, it, it, it's a process. We'll say that. But we would like to. Whether or not we're able to make that happen, I can't promise anything yet. But we're we're it's, we're it's working on it, I'll say. Ken Fabi, thanks again. Joining from work as usual. Thank you so much for 100 bits. Have a good work day. Get that work done. Speaking of getting work done. Poor Skizzle, man. <laughs> Poor Skizzle, man. Back from vacation and also has to work and, and juggle everything straight away. Mm -mm. Mm. How's Skiz doing this week? Well, not super. His daughter is currently getting surgery on her on her torn ACL, so I uh, I imagine he's a a wreck, a ball of nerves right now, awaiting for. A successful a word on a successful surgery, you know. Uh, plus, he's he's back home and and has to has to get back to work and do all the things. Yeah, yeah. His uh, his daughter tore her ACL uh, playing softball. She's she plays softball for a D one Division one college, um, which is a big deal here in the in the states. Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? I needed to go to. think this way what were the chords negative 365 we're heading the right direction negative 235 that way maybe okay uh oh three six five two three five oh hold on land three six five two three five I went the wrong way Still going the wrong way. Three, six, five. This is this way. Two, three, five is this way. Okay, it's by Tango's thing. Oh, this is a lot closer to Tango's thing than I thought. Two, three, five. Okay, this way. Anyway. Hi, Gem. What happened, Gem and chat? What'd Gem say? <laughs> Are they being dramatic, Jim? What'd she do? Oh, Jim! No, you're not getting you're not getting hate for taking all my levels yesterday, are you? <laughs> I haven't checked the comments on my vod. Uh, 
People swear. I did see one. People swear there was a moment. There was a moment where I was visibly frustrated. They they think that, but it's fine. I was fine with it. I was more in shock. <laughs> Also, I'm terrible at running from a fight. <laughs> uh, okay, I need to uh, I need to spawn proof the top of this. That so could be really, really bad. I didn't bring anything for that. Maybe I got something in my inner chest that I could use quickly. Uh, yeah, Ch chest spawn proof. Yeah, that's that's weird. But we're do we're gonna have to do it. Oh, scaffolding, I guess, is is as well, isn't it now? It's okay. <laughs> Temporary. <laughs> Temporary. It works. Oh, did, what, did I have buttons in there? I had two buttons. I didn't have enough to cover it. Oh, it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. We're good. I'll get something better. Something that signifies what it actually is. Well, well first of all, we need to make sure it goes to the right place. Let's see if it goes to the right place. Yeah, they did spawn proof scaffolding, I guess. But it didn't kill this, the uh, shulker designs. The shulkers still teleport to them, even though mobs can't spawn on them. Which is insane. Ah, okay. Good. This went to where I wanted. This is my private Mesa. Nobody else knows about this. As long as I never stream it. Uh, no other hermits will find out it exists, and this is all mine. I can have, I can have all of this. This is all mine. But if Jem wants to come here and, and, and annihilate this, uh, ocean right here, feel free. You can have that, Jem. You can come here and take all this coral. Be happy to share this place with you. <laughs> but yeah, this is a good place to get terracotta. I have my beacon. Uh, I bought some. Wait, are these like legit llamas? There's legit llamas here. Get your legit llamas. Could be fun. It's not a lot of desert. There's not a lot of desert area. It's mainly just for terracotta. And if we want some of the, uh, the red sand, which is not red. I suppose there's more desert over this way. Let's see. Does anybody actually do anything with this? Not really. It's just a little island. Okay. I think this is probably attached to the mining desert the hermits typically use. Yeah, there's a portal there. So this is where they're coming in, mainly. Yeah, and then kind of cutting out all this. Okay, so we're not too far from the other one. It's just my own little private place, you know? Wait, oh, dang it. It's just for us. Jam, I can't help it. Okay. I can't help it. Put some signs around. I mean, if they came here in Harvest, it's not like I'm going to be it's not like I'm going to be upset. Um, but yeah, I should put a sign on it. And I need to kind of get orientation. Okay, so if that's there, now I kind of feel like I put my portal the wrong direction. I didn't really know which way we were facing. Okay. It's like a straight 45 degree shot. Got it. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, I was getting tired. I was going back and forth and uh, having to go through the nether and run. You saw how tedious that was just to get there, so... We'll go put a sign on it and stuff. I'm not gonna say it's mine. I'm just gonna say it's a it's a mining uh, a mesa mining area. If people want to use it, that's totally cool. And what should we put on top? Is there anything that's like? I was gonna say it's it's not like we can get slabs from terracotta or any any kind of mesa. What mesa block? is spawn proof that we could put on the portal. Or should we just put some terracotta on the corners and cover it? Sandstone slabs? Red sandstone would be nice. 
All right, let's get that from there because I, I only have this. I think, yeah, red stand, sandstone slabs and then maybe maybe some actual like terracotta. What's the most terracotta looking block? <laughs> These, should I put lime glazed terracotta? <laughs> What's the most terracotta looking block? Uh, terracotta. <laughs> uh, pink glaze. Do you want the pink glaze? I don't even have any. I'd have to make it. I'd have to make it. We can make some pink glaze. That's fine. Always good to have pink glaze. Uh, <laughs> what's the most terracotta looking block? I'm so smart. <laughs> Ooh, the one that does the arrows. Which one does the arrows? Which is the glazed terracotta that has arrows on it? That's magenta? Shoot, let's do that. I like the arrows. We'll face them down and stuff. That'd be cool. Okay. Glazed donuts? What? <laughs> Dolphin Song, thank you so much for the two gifts of bomb. Appreciate you. That's my magenta die. I made way too much magenta die at some point in time. I'm not sure why. Oh, I just re-dyed the pink. Oh, that's fine. Love the city. It's looking amazing. Thank you. Uh, it's coming along. It's coming along. B-dubs is doing some work right now. Like some serious, serious work. Um, and it's really going to take a big step forward in the city. And then I think I'm going to do another building. I, I don't know if I'm going to do it next episode. Ah, uh, it's it's a it's a big it's a biggie. I kind of feel bad if I don't finish the last one and I start on another one, but really I don't know if there's such thing as finished. So if we, especially if we're gonna chip away on streams and stuff, it details. My coffee is cold already somehow. Not sure how that happened. Okay, so these ones have arrows on it, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I only need. I, okay, you can finish later. It's going to look terrible with the red stands, sandstone on top, but that's okay. That's okay. Mm -mm -mm. I am getting sick of, uh, I, I am kind of getting sick of the door. <laughs> this is why it's like, I've always wanted to do more redstone -y stuff, like the doors and elevators and all that kind of stuff, but it, like, it's really cool. But after you use it and use it and use it and use it, it's just like, man, I'd rather just have the door just be like wide open all the time or something. The city's fairly safe now. It's cool mechanic though. It's cool mechanic. It's 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 worth having. I just may end up like today's like today where I know I'm gonna be in and out a million times. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. I got a plan. Because it is gonna bug me today. Secret button. Nobody knows that's there. <sighs> we'll just leave the door open. I want to peek. I want to peek. Shh, Pearl, you saw nothing. This is perfect. On the other side of this building, magic is happening. Don't you wish I could just? Don't you wish I could just? Nope, can't shoot. Can't do it. I've seen it this morning. B Dubs is working. <laughs> you have to wait for his next video. <laughs> Don't they look great, Pearl? You can see him from your place, can't you? Oh, man. B Dubs doing some amazing stuff. <laughs> Placing those 50,000 blocks today, yep, that he promised. <laughs> look. Chest come in. All right, let's do this. Oh, you know what? I could have gotten four of these, I suppose, and done each corner. That would have been kind of cool. Now the tedium of figuring out how to face the arrows the right way. First try. Um. <laughs> nope. I guess it would be the this. Which way did I just do? 
Oh gosh. It's like backwards then, basically. It's like this. Yeah. I, I mean, it really depends on what angle you're coming from, too. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, well. Okay. <laughs> Actually, that looks kind of good. What was that? That kind of looks good. With portal frame. The obsidian. Okay. Now, is there actually... I never really need red sand for anything. Is there red sandstone underneath? Oh, no. So what, we have to smelt this? They don't just give you red sandstone here? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's just crafting. Okay. Perfect. I thought I'd have to smelt it. I guess the same thing with regular sandstone. I never make it. Like, I don't remember the last time I turned sand into sandstone. I would just always harvest it because that seemed like a big waste. Okay. I'll only grab three because we only need a few. Slabby jabbies. Don't need a sign here. You know you're going into the nether. It rarely generates naturally. So for red sandstone, you pretty much have no choice, it sounds like. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> it's like the, the worst combination of colors. <laughs> uh, I'll just say... Uh, Mesa. Mining area. Did I spell that right? That's fine. Can you dig it? Ameke. I hope I said your name right. Thank you so much for the $4.20. Love watching your streams and your builds are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you for the support. It looked better before with the chess. I know, right? I mean, how much do we care? Wrong side of the portal. What, for the sign? No, they'll be coming from that way. If anybody comes out here, they're coming from that way. If anything, I feel like the portal should have been facing that way, but that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Bottom corner with arrows facing up. I know, I only, I only brought three. I didn't think I'd bring four. I could bring another one. Callus Sigma, thank you so much for $3.14. Got a DNR. Yes, actually, I've I've seen that comment before. Um, yeah, and it's just something. It didn't feel right to me, is all. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's like, what's what the DNR say? What's he talking about? We could just do carpet up there, guys. Like, just do. Let's just do pink or magenta carpet. And I'll get the other terracotta and we'll finish. We'll make the portal. We'll make the portal look good. Um, as far as like raising it up, anything outside of the like central hub area, I don't think needs to be raised up at all. We raised this up so if we did want to do some sort of decoration in this area, we had space to do it. I don't even know if that's going to happen. But the portals outside of this area definitely don't need to be raised up. They can just sit on the roof. It's fine. Skiz's sabbatical is over already. Yeah. Yeah, he went back to work on Monday. Um, so the only way we'll see him during the day is if he's like <laughs> grinding during a meeting or happens to be able to take some time off to log in and hang out. It's going to be... Uh, uh, it, it's been a while since I had to do the juggle of the full-time job plus Hermitcraft. It's been two years now because I did a year of part-time. And then a year ago uh, and a, a few months, I went full-time uh, content creator, completely quit my old job. So it's been like two years since I've had to go through what he's going through right now of juggling both. But I still remember it, how difficult it was. Um, so <laughs> let's all just have some patience with him, wish him the best, give him our support best we can. Uh, the, the biggest thing he's going to need right now is that motivation to... Uh, 
muster up the energy to juggle both. It, it, it takes a lot out of you. It really does. Because we're talking like, I remember losing a lot of sleep. Although I still lose a lot of sleep, so I don't know what the difference is, but... <laughs> I lose a sleep. I lose sleep now for a different reason. I lose sleep because I'm I'm laying in bed with insomnia. Uh, but before I was losing sleep because I'd stay up till 3 a.m. after working a full day uh, to to work on Hermitcraft. That was the only way I was gonna get episodes out. So he might be having to go through that. We'll see. What was my previous career? Uh, I was mostly software developer. Towards the end of my career, I, I, I started to dabble with some uh, uh, program, project management, slightly. I, I was just dipping my toes in to see if it was something I wanted to do. Product owner. I was a product owner. I was steering the direction of the product, uh, making sure that the product would meet customers' needs and stuff. And um, But at the same time, I was kind of a one-man band, so I was... I was, which is a no-no. It's it's a no-no. Most people know if they've worked in this this field that you're not supposed to be a product owner and a developer, and a QA and a everything. I was a one-man show, uh, to where I had to do, I had to do it all from the from the gathering the customer requirements all the way to the the implementation of it and training and 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 yeah, auditors don't like that. Don't tell on us. <laughs> Don't tell on us. We know we were uh, uh, not following the rules. I, I was a, I was, you know, the whole company doesn't work like that. I was in a special team, very, very niche thing. Okay, that's better. Okay, these corners. Can you dig it? But mostly, I was about the Can software development piece. Started the company like developing apps from scratch using like, I mean, when I first started, it was like classic ASP. There we go. Then I did some .NET and then I ended up doing JavaScript for a uh, out of the box product, basically altering an out of the box product to suit the customer's needs. It was a service management tool called Service now. Anything but COBOL. COBOL, I do not do. No. Learned COBOL in school, sort of. Uh, actually, I hated COBOL so much, I basically had Skizzle Man take the class for me. <laughs> While I worked on our senior project. I I took the, the lion's share of the load working on our senior project and Skizzle Man basically did all my COBOL work for me. <laughs> Screen says more like service never. Oh man. We had some bad Im implementations of service now in our company that, that people hated it. But um, after a few learnings, I think we finally got to a place where the customers actually quite liked it. Because you know, I developed all the things they wanted. SF Bandy Man, thank you so much for the $5. Ken, you dig it. Oh my goodness. My daughter said I never donate, so here's me proving her wrong. Love the content, buddy. <laughs> you show her. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> Service now is getting big. Yeah, yeah. It's a good tool. It's a good tool. It has its ups and downs, as everything does. Um, it's pretty bloated. That's why I streamlined ours with the. Uh, basically, we didn't use. We didn't use the the, the the regular out of the box stuff. We basically just went to the stuff I developed to streamline the process. Like a customer portal type thing. Anyway, that's what I did. If everything came, if everything ended today, right? If everything ended today, for some reason, for some reason, YouTube and Twitch and everything was like, Sorry guys, we're done paying creators for, for ads and stuff. No more, no more anything. Twitch goes away. They can't afford it anymore. There's no other streaming platforms out there. Anyway, if it all came crashing down today overnight, would I go back to that job? No, I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't go back. I'd be ready to do something new with my life. I think. That part, I'm, I'm, I'm so far removed now that it, I'd be rusty anyway, and I wouldn't really care to, to learn the new stuff.
I can finally chase my dream of being a carpenter. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do. I have no idea what I'd do. If the content creation world went away, that would that would kind of kill it for me because I always thought like, oh, if, if uh, I would I would I think I would want to still play in the content creation space if I wasn't actually making content myself. I don't know what that means. Uh, maybe I would just be a video editor. You know, keep it simple. I don't know. Could be an agent for content creators to find them sponsorships and stuff. Maybe I don't know. But I like this space. I like the people in it. I like the vibe of the creator community. So I would I would go I would definitely be happy to go work for Elgato and give them like insight as a creator, right? As, when they're developing products. <laughs> McBean says, good, I'm looking for an agent. You're hired. Alright, let's see. Uh 50-50 is cool, right? Right, McBean? 50-50? Every deal I get you, I get 50%. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you got a lot to learn, bud. <laughs> that's that's pretty steep. I'm sure you can find better. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 50 50. He's like, let's see. Um, that's still more than what I'd get if I don't get sponsorships, so I'll take it. I get it. I get that. I get that. <laughs> oh, 50. You thought it was 50% of my share. No, no, no. <laughs> Uh, okay, that's done. What was the other thing we're gonna do? I was gonna move the portal. Hold on. I, I made a list because I'm smart. Oh, I can't do the other thing. I can't do the other thing because it would show off some things I can't show off. Um, I think what I do want to do is move the smelter. Sick of going back and forth for that. Magenta, magenta, magenta. Terracotta. Woo! Okay. Sneak peeks. Normally I wouldn't mind so much, but one, it's not my stuff. It's not it's it's not my stuff to share. And two, it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. It's it's it it's uh it's a big deal. Alright. So this is what I've been using for smelting, and it actually works out pretty good. I don't feel like I need some sort of crazy super smelter. I mean, maybe automating the inputs. I don't know if that's worth it even. I just kind of want to move this. So that I don't have to run back and forth. All these little things that I do. Concrete making. <laughs> I don't even know why I have this. Just throwing random stuff in there. Uh, that doesn't get used anymore. I kind of want to put it in this area here, this section, maybe just above our storage room. Let's take a look. Let's see, where can we put it? I don't mind coming in. Oh, but we will have to have like multiple ways up, right? Right now we have a ladder, I suppose. I think I would want to put it towards the back here so I'm not hearing that lava bubbling. We don't have fire tick on, so I could safely put it against this wool even. That might be the way to go. Push it up against that wall. Although I guess people using the shops are gonna hear it. Oof. All right, maybe this side. Maybe this side. That oh, that way it's just right there. We come up, and it's right there. Keep it for the vault. It, right now it's a matter of of just the tedium of going back and forth. I just want things to be close. Typically when I'm gonna smelt something, it's because I want to grab something from here, and I want to just basically turn around and and start smelting if I can. Hmm. No airspace around lava equals no bubbles. Oh, if we just cover it. You won't hear the, the bubbling? I didn't know that, Hypno. Nice nice knowledge drop there. <clears throat> then I could put it anywhere and I won't have to hear it. That'd be good. Must be open. I'm hearing something. Anyway, I was just thinking, like, maybe... Cauldron in the ceiling that has the lava going in it, I could just boop with the bucket, right? And then if the furnaces were on the floor, like that would be 
That would be nice and, you know what I mean? Then I don't have to climb ladders. Can you collect lava out of a cauldron's underside? <laughs> I'm sure you can, right? So that might be a way to do this to where it's like super convenient. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't see why why there'd be a reason not to. Okay. Perfect. Okay, let's do that. Let's put cauldrons in the ceiling. I'm just gonna take these now. No, I can leave these here. There's no, they're not hurting anything. They're not hurting anything, but I am gonna collect the lava. Uh, 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 uh. You won't be able to tell if it has lava. That's true. Oh, I hope lava doesn't actually drip out the bottom of them. Because I wouldn't want lava particles dripping in the storage room. Do we have any... Nope. Oops. It'll be a nice little light source. Yeah, t Tango, Tango has been on. On and off this morning. He had to go take a break after Pearl made him do redstone. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna go up there. This might be weird. Gonna make a pattern out of it. <laughs> I mean, we could do. We could get crazy with it. I didn't mean to go all the way up. We could get crazy with it. Um. Oh, because I accidentally did double. I knew what I was doing. I knew what I was doing. You guys thought I was making a mistake. I was I was future proofing. Little did you know that that was what was going on. I knew exactly what I was doing. <laughs> I need more. <laughs> Because now you, when you look through, you see more lights and it looks super cool. I might raise that. Ah, oh, no, I guess I, sh I can't. I mean, now I want a slab. Anyway, all right. I can worry about that. Looks great, right? It's functional and it looks good. Best of both worlds. Future proofing. Yeah, you know, you you guys know, like, you think I'm winging everything. I, I, I know exactly what I'm doing. I got a whole season planned out. I know exactly what blocks I'm placing three months from now. <laughs> right. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> that really did work out that those lights were there. Perfect. Okay, now we, what we could do is just put the dripstone around the whole thing. First, I want to see what it looks like. Mm. Could change it out to, I mean, I have the quartz there. If I have it go half a block higher, though, I'm not sure I'll like that. So the idea is going to be, I mean, will we be able to tell if there's lava in one? First of all, I do like it. I think it looks good. And again, it's functional. Let's put some lava in some of them and just see if we can even notice underneath some sort of difference. Do that one. to random here see if we can spot the ones we did mm, no there's no way of really telling so it's just it's gonna be a trial and error type thing you know 
<clears throat> I mean, there's plenty of them that, that there will always be lava available. So it's just a matter of like, do you have lava? Oh, I can't even reach it. Yes, you do. Oh, you can put it back too, which is cool. Can you tell? I, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing any difference really. I do have this resource pack. Oh my gosh. Somewhere. Where is it? Redstone. So I have Vanilla Tweaks Deco and Vanilla Tweaks Redstone. If I take off the Deco and put on the Redstone, I had to do this because usually I err on the side of I want my Redstone stuffs to be like see the note block and see the the sticky pistons and the the arrows on the observers. However, when it comes to decoration, that kind of messes some things up, right? Um, we come out here. Oh, actually, why don't the hoppers have the arrows on them? That's surprising. I thought the hoppers had arrows. But yeah, you see this kind of stuff now. And I didn't want that with as much. There we go. See? And now hoppers have arrows on them. And uh, don't want that all the time. We're doing more decorative stuff. Downward pointing don't have arrows. You just that's the natural state. Okay. I didn't show anything today. Almost, you guys were getting so excited. I almost Okay. I was kind of hoping because what that what these have is that on them. So you can tell if it's full or not. Because like there'll be certain levels, right? And then water bottles, but that's okay. <laughs> so close. I knew what I'd be doing. There's no meter on the bottom, though. If this meter was on the bottom, that little window, that would have been kind of cool. Right? How do I get my hair to look so good? Wait, this hair? Joker? What's up, man? How you doing? Hope you're feeling better, dude. I heard about your adventure. Hope everything's all good. Uh... Got to be glued. <laughs> Got to be glued. I could drop them down by one block and that will make it so I don't have to jump. I'm not sure I'm going to like it as much. But then we would see the windows, except for the corner ones. But we won't see the windows because I don't, I don't typically run with the windows on, you know? I don't know that I, I will do that. So many. Does it go on top? I don't think it matters. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Mr. Joker. He's recovering from something. I don't know. I don't want to discuss your medical stuff, but. You could just have the hopper thing on. Appendix was ruptured. There you go. Jeez. Sounds painful. Let's drop them down anyway, just to see if it does look good. Take these out. I mean, it might actually look better and it will be reachable, which is nice. Guys, next episode, should I do a, should I do a, a building? Another big building? Or should I keep working on the one we just did? What do you think? Another big one? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I want to do this, this cybernetics shop. Oh, hold on. Someone's at my front door. I need to see if, uh, Hopefully my wife can get this. I think they're coming to drain my pool today. Okay. We're good. She answered. She answered the door. She's taking care of it. I was like, do I need to get up and run to the door? I think it's okay. Yeah, uh, every every couple years, 
like the pool will get to a state where there's too much acidity in it and the only way they can fix that they, they can't put pool chemicals in it to fix that really the only real way they can fix that is by draining it and refilling it with new water and yeah it's about every i don't know three years or so i have to have that done What do we think, guys? Yeah, they clean it and stuff, too. My dog will probably bark, though, because he's going to come back in the backyard, and she's in here, and she'll see through the window that he's here. So you're going to hear Prim barking. I don't drain the pool myself. No, I have a pool service. I have a pool service take care of it. I'm, I'm terrible. I, I'm like, I'm, I was the worst at, like, getting my pool chemicals, like, to not <laughs> turn my water green. I was a, I was so bad at it. So finally I got smart enough to just hire a professional. Drop the center then. Then it'd just be flat is the problem. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, taking a pool, taking care of a pool is a lot of work. So we got a guy for that. Ah. <laughs> uh... Dropping that down made it feel more flat, to be honest. But I can reach them now. Easier. Still have to jump. Still have to jump to get it. So maybe that didn't matter. It's more cyberpunky this way. Like... This does lend itself to being able to do stuff like this, right? If I could, if I could blockificate. Eh, 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 eh. Doesn't have to all be, but we could do stuff like that. It could be a little overwhelming. I don't know. Could always throw bits and bobs in the ceiling there to make it cyberpunky if we wanted to. But yeah, that that was a bit and there's already like a lot of lights in here, so I don't know. Maybe ooh, maybe uh we're we're like dropping the ceiling down quite a lot now. Um purple, 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 purple. What would go good with purple? Uh, uh not that. Might not be terrible. Eh? Eh? Run that along and then you get like those stripes. It's a little more red than purple, but we kind of brought that in already. A little bit. Hmm. The only reason I was thinking about doing that was because it does bring it down a little bit. So then we get our shape back to our ceiling. So it's not so flat. Ooh. I'm not sure. I think I'd have to see the whole thing before I even before I even decided. I'm going to do all this, and then we're going to hate it and tear it down. Then the big question is, do these stripe the other way when you do that? Yeah, they do. So then the question is, which what do you do in the corners? Like, which, which way do you have that stripe go? All the way across like that before you go back? This might be one of the things I need to make the change and sit on it for a little bit, you know. See if I actually like it after a day or two. Crafted almost the perfect amount. Slabs in the corners to drop them down even more. I kind of like it. Change out the corners. You know what would be cool? If on stream, 
at least once a week, so basically once an episode, we make one change to our storage room like this. Right? We make one change to our storage room and never say it in the videos. Never acknowledge that we did it in the videos. And just just see how many people notice what we do on stream. It's like our secret, right? <laughs> I hear some sort of machine. Uh-oh. about where a clean out is. I don't know. Ah. Okay. There's Prim. She's seen him now. She's barking at him. She's barking at him. I don't know if the iron's good. Ooh. Iron actually might work. Mm -mm. Primers. Mm -mm. <laughs> He's doing cool stuff. Slab would be better there. Mm. They 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 need they need something to drain the water into. They can't just drain it out on the streets, you know. They're, they're not supposed to. Prim, come here. Come on. She won't come on camera, guys. She's totally camera shy. Purper slabs, huh? Yes, bringing it down with an actual slab, I think, is the way to go. Hold on, guys. Get, had to get Prim to come in here. Come here. Hey. Hey. Come here. That's it. There's no stopping her. There's no stopping her now. She's got her mind set. She must bark at this guy. There's a... There's a... <laughs> you guys all the fake dog. Oh. I got pictures on Twitter, right? Haven't I shown a picture on Twitter of her? No, I don't know. Hmm. What do we feel about that? Mangrove slabs. Yeah, I don't like the purple. Oh, there's a new one. There's a new clean out. Great, so he's going to be right here. <laughs> Uh, crimson slab. Crimson slab. Crimson. Let's try it. I gotta put away some of this iron. Mm -hmm. Top of the hour, Desco Burr. Okay, okay. I will probably... Give me a minute. I'll do that, but I'm gonna take a quick break just to uh, see if I can get Prim to focus on something else. Maybe just lock her in here with me. This might be cool. Might be cool, it might not be cool. We'll place blocks and find out. It's the best part of Minecraft. You can try things, and then you can just undo it if you don't like it. Oh! I think I like it! I think I like it. Yeah, that works. That totally works. Well done, guys. Well done. Okay, and we can reach our, our our dealies. We just have to get the dripstone above them. All right, we'll do that in a second. Um, I'm going to give you the long one. I'll give you Hermit Gang today. So that, that gives me time to take care of everything. 
and then I'll move my desk. And, uh, okay. And then we'll be back. We'll put in the, the lava, put in the furnaces. And that's one more job done today. Very cool. All right. I will be right back as soon as I find the button for this. Hopefully it didn't go away. Here we go. Listen, Green. Nobody touches my bush. You're done. It all started when Green touched my redstone. He played himself like, like, like a xylophone set on automatic. Dark monster is a savage with technical skills and crazy vocal acrobatics. I'm a legend of the NHO with ETHO beef and double O. Doc MC is coming for you sevenfold. Got Ren, Doc, another fireman to douse the flames that you shoot at this Leviathan. His skull can try again. You think I'm in Han, I'm just biding my time. Putting pen to people coming up. Rhymes yeah. with a star sturdy group got together just to crush you. Once we start something, you know, we're gonna see it through. I'm the nut, the soldier who brings the fight at first. Like, y'all had the inside, so now I gotta end out. You're guilty of getting murdered with words. Y'all are outgunned. Go home, nerds. Hermit gang, 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 hermit gang. You can stop the symmetry that's false Your team is dialing for help But I'm ignoring their calls And when their bodies dissolve You know that force is on a killing spree Try to stab my PvP and perish painfully uh-huh. I'm the queen of hearts, heads and body parts She diamond armor my tongue competitor My martial arts I'll send a poison dart To make you breathe your final breath G-Team's name will be the only thing left yeah. Caffeinated, animated, redstone innovator My behavior's crazy, can't face me Impulse is never lazy Tango, why would you betray me? Now my scope is aiming Better run from cover from all the gas spells that I be taming Without a sound, without no hesitation My creations are amazing Better watch your step or the G-Team will end up blazing Who's the better team? There is no controversy But before it's said and done Y'all be begging us for mercy Hermit gang, 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 Give it to ya, I know give it to ya, X gon' give it to ya, what? Lyrical boxing, dropping blows on all my foes in the G team, they're looking unclean, needing some sunscreen. Burn my words to hurt this herd of nerds, it's absurd how my rhymes got them injured. Danger, danger, I got lasers to cut them up like razors, it's flexing season and I got flavor. No weak defenses like trenches and fences that these dense heads are presenting. They're presenting them all right. They're not very good. I could, I could walk over that. I could, I could jump over that. I could use an ender pearl. I could use my elytra. Come on, G team, Jeet. You know, I don't know what to say. Uh, let me let me see. All right, we're back. Thanks for hanging out. Hello. Hello. Okay. I basically locked Prim in in the office. <laughs> so hopefully uh, she'll be okay. Prowl, we got a raid coming in from Prowl. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you. Welcome in, raiders. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Mag, Magpie Macau says, do Prim and Kevin Bubbles love each other? No. Um, Prim doesn't really care for other dogs, to be honest. She she gets a little crazy around him, so we've never introduced him. And uh, I guess Kevin Bubbles is as well as a uh, he wants to play with other dogs, but he's like he'll bark loudly at him, and that would definitely set Prim off. So yeah, we've never tried. 
Sam Golden, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I may or may not have got my got a pride ring stuck on my finger and can't get it off. Help. Uh, use some uh, olive oil or something. <laughs> See if that helps. Prim is a border collie. She's a border collie. Uh, and she is a true and true border collie. Oh my goodness. Uh, she really does think she's coming to work with me every day. This is her job. Is to lay here and supervise me making content. <laughs> Shaggy Maine, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Thank you. Okay, this looks good. This looks this looks fantastic. I love it. Use Windex. There you go. Much better advice than what I would give. <laughs> uh, Prim has the most important job. That's right. Keep me company so I uh, I don't feel so alone. Okay, cool. Let's get the lava in. Let's do let's do glass. Right. Okay. All right. That's fine. And. Uh, all right, okay. <laughs> Off to a good start here. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's put some of this stuff away and we'll go uh, we'll go dig some sand. Actually, B-Dubs and I were talking yesterday and he pointed out I was pretty low on, on sand. I was like, oh, it's okay, I'm streaming tomorrow. I'll get some. It's okay, we'll go get sand, right guys? You don't mind, it won't take too long. I'll try not to do the sweeping. The sweeping dig that looks terrible on streams. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, I don't need a beacon for this. Use TNT. <laughs> Too much work. Too much work. Can't afford it. <laughs> How am I going to make TNT? I don't have sand. <laughs> Ethel could mine his way. I'll mine my way. <laughs> um, okay. Our new portal. Get us there safe and fast. Love it. Did not bring enough food. Look at that beautiful portal. It's so confusing from the side. Right? <laughs> Do I go that way? Do I go that way? I don't understand. Should cover these with trapdoors or something. Yay, motion sickness and collection. Woo! No, I'll try. I'll try not to. This is where I get my sand. Me and only me. All right, what's the best way for you guys? You guys know what I'm talking about when when I'm just gonna take it slow. We're, we're gonna do it slow so you guys don't get sick. Maybe if I do one layer at a time. There we go, something like that. That's not too bad. If I start sweeping my shovel like I usually do when I'm doing sand, you guys will absolutely vomit. <laughs> so. <laughs> Love how Tango digs. It just zooms on screen. Yeah, I mean, I could... I could do one of these guys, you know. But the bit quality on streams, is it bad? This isn't actually a good way to do it because there's falling sand. You like the sweeping. Uh, yeah, this, this kind of doing this. <laughs> This is what I was trying to avoid. I'm not gonna do. No, I'm not gonna do that. I don't want to make you guys. Wow. Bit rates. Bit rates pretty good on Twitch today. Then. Usually it looks terrible when people do that. <laughs> you love that. You don't mind the sweeping? Oh. I misjudge things here. And somebody's gonna say, "Nope, never mind. I just threw up." I've already actively thrown up. <laughs> yeah, there will be some people that are, are prone to motion sickness, so I'm trying to uh, <laughs> not give them a, a bad day. We don't need that much. Let's get a few stacks. I do need to spend some time, though, collecting a lot at some point. Great Meeple, thank you so much for the five gifts up bomb. Appreciate you. Audio only. I'm gonna go podcast mode. On today's Imp and Skiz podcast. We got a, a really fun podcast coming out on Friday. What's today? Wednesday? I suppose I can tell you what it's gonna be. You guys are all subscribed to the Imp and Skiz podcast channel, right? Um, we got a, it's not a guest this time, but 
Uh, it's a really cool conversation. Skiz and I are, are basically talking about our favorite things that we use on the daily. So things in our lives that we use on the daily that are like, like the most amazing things we own. That So we're basically vouching for products, not sponsored. <laughs> we're vouching for products that we use and basically like educating each other on uh, what we have, why we like it. So for instance, what, this for instance, this is my this is my Yeti coffee cup. This will keep my coffee hot for like two hours plus. Like literally, I just finished my coffee and the last sip was cold, but aside from that, there it wasn't. I had, I had brewed this coffee two and a half hours ago. And literally like it held up for at least two hours. So Yeti though, you, you pay for what you get, you know? A lot of the stuff is, is uh, or you get what you pay for. Um, on the pricey side, but if it's something you use all, every day, I don't, I don't feel bad about spending a little extra money if it's something that's going to get a lot and lo a lot of use. Oh man, my Herman Miller chair! I didn't even talk about that. That should have been on the podcast. I've had my Herman Miller Arion uh, office chair for 15 years now. 15 years. It's the best chair I've ever sat in. And it was so expensive. It was like almost $1,000, I think. But it's lasted me 15 years. I've replaced the seat once. And I, I did just replace the casters on it, like yesterday. <laughs> the wheels started falling apart. Um, but worth it so we it's things like that we start talking about things like that in our lives i convinced skiz to uh use his air fryer for more than french fries <laughs> it's gonna be a good pause guys you guys like it we got a little silly in it too we got a little silly in it we were i think we were like both re really sleep sleep deprived oh look at that that's more than i thought i was, I was gonna come here for <laughs> we were both kind of sleep deprived in the podcast recording and so we were being a little silly <clears throat> you use your air fryer for everything. Exactly, right? That's what I was trying to tell him. I was like, you know, oh, one of my one of my favorite things that we use almost daily is our air fryer. And he's like, what? <laughs> it's like, you guys have French fries every day? It's like he didn't, he couldn't fathom that it could be used for things other than French fries. And I was like, oh, dude, I cook everything in it. I cook uh, everything. Even the, like, pre-made meals, like the factor... Factor meals and stuff like that, throw them in the air fryer. They're better. Trust me. Okay. Finally got some sand. All right. Here's the thing. We have to, we have to go smelt this. I'm going to do, I'm just going to do eight, all eight. We'll do eight full stacks. And I took all the lava from those, so we actually need that. Oh, shoot. Okay. Grilled cheese in the air fryer. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Here's one of the best things. Here's one of the best things. Uh, my my wife came up with this one day when we were just like not. Neither one of us really felt like making breakfast this day, you know. But we wanted breakfast, and we didn't want to order it or anything. We had bagels. And we had eggs. She literally just took a bagel and put some, uh, like, pesto on it, I think. And then cracked an egg. All in the air fryer. Cracked an egg on top of the bagel. And then air fried it. And it was, like, the most awesome bagel egg sandwich thing ever. <laughs> it was, And it was, like, so easy. So easy. My wife is a little obsessed with pesto. Uh, we had pesto again on, on a, brusch a bruschetta. I kept thinking bruschetta is a type of bread. It's not, is it? Bruschetta is a type of like sandwich, isn't it? Brioche is a type of bread. We had bruschetta. She uh, she definitely kept calling it bruschetta. And it was basically a bread, which she made. She like handmade bread. 
and then pesto and some cheese and uh, sun-dried tomatoes and uh, some like pepperoni slices or salami or something. I don't know. It's pronounced bruschetta. Okay, not brush, bruschetta. We're learning stuff. What was the thing the other day? Statue of Liberty. Li Statue of Liberty. Statue of Limitations. Remember, I kept saying that. The Statue of Limitations. And then somebody sent me that was the actual Seinfeld bit, where uh, Seinfeld was teaching Kramer that it's statute, stat statute of limitations. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, I don't want to get into that again. But the the bit was pretty funny. You bought one of the. Breville Smart Oven Air Fryer Pros. Awesome bruschetta. 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 Bruch, oh, I already see. See, I already messed it up. Bruchetta is toast. It's a. To it's just toast. Okay. So it was a specific type of bread that was toasted, I guess. I don't know. I need to steal this lava. It's an Italian-style topping on certain toast. Okay. Bruschetta. It's going to be hard for me to stop saying the wrong way. Because it's been... Ingrained in my brain the other way. Scar! Why the cookies? Where are the cookies everywhere? Where are these? Why? Why is there cookies all over my my system? Mm -mm. Because cookies. Because why not? We, we were talking about Girl Scout cookies the other day. Was that yesterday? Now I want Girl Scout cookies. My camera feels darker than normal. Has my camera been darker lately? I noticed that when I did the thumbnail this morning. I had to I had to bump the brightness on my, my face shot. Excuse me. People get so heated about the pronunciation of foods. <laughs> oh, is it because the lights are blue? Oh, and the lights are blue in the background. Okay. Next person that gets a chance to uh, change colors, try yellow and see how much difference that makes. Whenever the uh, the lights button comes back up. I don't know if there's a better way for me to do that system for you guys, other than just shut the buttons off for five minutes at a time so that we're not constantly changing them. All right, I'm going to need dripstone. Question for your faces. Can we put the dripstone directly above the cauldron? So, like, dripstone, block, lava. And that will fill, right? Okay. Because I'm not, I'm trying to figure out why did I leave this two-gap space right here? Why did I leave these, these two? Why did I leave that open? Maybe just because I wanted stuff up and out of the way, but Tyler... Also, this is Tyler's playground, so, see, the thing about Tyler is he's always living on the edge. I've never not seen him not live on, look, Tyler. What the Are you trying to make me look like a fool? Get it up there. We get it. There you go. Jeez. <laughs> uh, can you drain a full cauldron with a hopper? I don't think so. No. No, I don't think you could. I, they should make it so that uh, dispensers work with hoppers, don't you think? Don't you think if I had a dispenser... I don't know how you would do it. If I had a dispenser shoot a bucket at a cauldron, it should fill it with the lava and put it back in the dispenser, don't you think? Don't you think that would be really cool? Uh, I don't know how a crafter would help. Being able to automate the process of collecting lava from cauldrons would be a game changer. And there's no way to do it as far as I know. You have to, uh, all the, all the like 
infinite lava farms that I've seen out there, your player has to like sit there and right click buckets. Like they move the cauldrons along a, a piston tape and you, you're sitting there right clicking. Right? Tyler's got Riz. Was that a Steven Tyler reference? Oh, we named Tyler so long ago. You probably weren't here for it. Probably, probably been wondering this whole time why my horse's name is Tyler. Living on the edge. Right, Aerosmith, lead singer, Steven Tyler. Tyler, living on the edge. Get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> yeah, that's where that came from. <laughs> Any chance to start randomly singing some Aerosmith, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it. Okay, it doesn't matter if I put this on glass. Dream on is good. Yes, it is. Okay. I wonder. I'm a Swifty and we all know it. I did, I did watch on Disney Plus. I watched the whole thing, the Eris tour. It was fantastic. Uh, Taylor Swift puts on one heck of a show. Man, I, at that point I was like, I kind of wish I went to the concert. <laughs> the the sh the show was so good. It was so good. Yeah, 100% of Swifty caught me. <laughs> you watched the entire thing on TikTok? Oh, no, Pearl, it's too bad you don't have Disney Plus. The whole thing in one shot on Disney Plus is 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 worth it. Oh my gosh, it was so good. It was one of those things I I don't know how we ended up watching it. I think we thought my daughter was going to join us in watching it and then she just didn't. And at that point, me and my wife were we were invested. We were in for the long haul. We weren't going to we weren't going to stop watching it. <laughs> you worked at her concerts? Man, yeah. They don't mess around. They don't mess around. It's basically like a three and a half hour Broadway play, like show. You know what I mean? It, it didn't feel like a, a music concert. It felt like a Broadway show. <laughs> you do have it. Oh. I started to watch it, but wanted podcasty background vibes, so I haven't finished yet. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> uh, here's what I think we'll do. We're going to entrap ourselves here. <gasps> oh no, 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 no. Have to be have to be careful to stay on the edges of these. Ah! It's harder than it looks. Okay. Stay against the wall. This is working. It's just the last one I have to break myself out of, I suppose. Yeah, this one. And then we'll have to jump up and get it. Can we can we even reach? Nope. Yeah, it was really good. Don't tell me I missed one. No, I missed the corner. Seriously? What, that corner right there? Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Oh. So you want you want a, a valid use of free cam? There, there it is. I just I just did it. I just valid used. That's a valid use of free cam. For, I missed this corner. This is the one you're talking about. This is this corner, isn't it? This is the corner you met. That's the corner you met. Valid use of free cam. Got <laughs> it. Ah! I hate scaffolding. I hate it. Because you bounce when you shift. So it'd be this guy. Sweet. Ugh. Sorry, be dumb. Some some things of scaffolding they're not fun. <laughs> Don't let him hear that. I know he's in earshot too. Luckily my mic is muted. B dubs is in earshot. He could he could I don't want to come in here getting upset with me. We got a good partnership going on this season.
I'm not going to make the glass fancy or anything. Any chance of playing Phasma with the group as soon as, uh, soon to get the Easter trophy? Yeah, I definitely want to get the Easter trophy. I don't know, I don't know where the group is at. I'm mainly worried about Skizzle Man. <laughs> Being like super short on time trying to catch up from getting back from vacation. And, uh, not just being able to spare the time to stream Phasmo, but I want to get that. I definitely want to get the Easter trophy. I want to see the Easter update for sure. So I might just play and whoever joins me joins me on Thursday. We'll see. We'll see. I feel like I'm kind of ahead right now. Oh, what did I do with my other pickaxe, guys? At some point, I put a I put a, a fortune pickaxe away. <laughs> Where did I put it? In the end chest stuff. Go me. Okay. All right. We got to keep track of where we're at on this. Sometimes it's hard to tell what's a source and what's not. I suppose if the lava is flowing, then you know it's not a source. We're going to have so much lava. Okay, and then we learned from Hypno, if we cover this, we don't have to hear the bubbling. Well, glass count. Okay. So that's, that's a source, though, right? Right there, we just placed? It's when it starts to fall off that's not a source. And yeah, it travels four blocks. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right, we got it. I am... <laughs> I didn't know where I was. I got confused. Mm -mm. We're gonna need... Jeez, that barely did half of it even, didn't it? That wasn't even half. We're gonna need a lot more. Yeah, we might, we might just have to go to the nether and collect it that way. That's probably the way we're gonna do it. Okay. Couple trips. Couple trips. That's fine. I was just seeing. Sometimes those cauldrons refill really fast. It's very surprising. Let's get some more food before we go. But yeah, I I um I was shooting for like every seven days or so to get an episode out. And I think the one that came out yesterday, that was like six days. I got it like a day early, at least in my own head schedule, you know. So, I'm feeling good. <laughs> Cookies, man. Ah. Oh, it's carrots. I wanted to get some carrots. Did I? I didn't buy carrots from... I thought I just bought like a big old thing of carrots. Oh, I just realized a flaw with something B-dubs and I did. Hold on a second. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> we got a birthday in the chat! Angeli, is that how you say it? Wait, a Angel, is that an I? I can't tell. Oh, the, the, the font. Angeli, yes! Happy birthday to you! There it is. Hope you have a good one. Sorry, I missed your I missed your messages. Somebody else said happy birthday. That's how I knew. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Three streams ago, I bought carrots. I must have just bought like one stack, and now I'm out already. So I'm gonna go buy more. In July. And, 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 oh, now that I see the capitalization, is it? Oh, totally, I butchered your name. I'm sorry. Lava. I'll get lava after I buy the carrots. The trophy's backwards. The front says 100. Not anymore. I fixed it. <laughs> Let's see if we got any. Any diamonds. Ayo. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Okay. 
Is there an, is there a new thing that we can pay with diamond ore? <laughs> is it just like? Yeah, I'm gonna get more. Obviously, okay. Assuming they bought three stacks, maybe four stacks. I don't know what I put in here. Five stacks. Is was there some sort of, a kind of assumption that Fortune Three would def definitely get at least fifteen diamonds from ten? Bit of like a almost like a bit of a gambling situation there for payment, but I think I think that's pretty guaranteed to get at least that much. Was there a way to buy like a full choker box of carrots? Or no? As much as Skiz wants to get the Hermit video done and out, I hope he knows that some of us love his Giggs Phasmo content just as much. Yeah, I'm sure he does, but you know, being being a new Hermit, uh, it feels really bad to have have a, almost three weeks go by between videos and have everyone in your comments asking why you quit Hermitcraft already. Is there downstairs? Where's downstairs? I don't see a way to go downstairs. I was hoping to just buy, I'll just buy a couple, I'll just buy a stack then. Three diamonds per stack, I'll just buy a stack, that's fine. We'll come here every time we need a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna keep these in here. I put them all somewhere else and then I couldn't show you where that somewhere else was, so I had to had to get sneaky about it. <laughs> yeah. The the people that don't follow, you know, don't follow Skiz on, you know, Twitch or Twitter or anything like that, and they only just watch his YouTube videos, to them, he basically just disappeared for three weeks, and to them, they think he gave up and quit Hermitcraft. You know what I mean? I could, I, I could see how people could come to that conclusion, but it's still, you know. Alternatively, he could have maybe on his last video said to people, kind of like Tango did, right? Like Tango told people he was going to be gone on his last video. Oh, he did explain on his last video. Okay. Yeah, in that case, people just don't, don't listen. <laughs> yeah, that's different then. They didn't make it to the end of his video or whenever he said it. But yeah, Tango had said so in his video. That he was going on vacation. He didn't know at that point in time if he was going to get another episode out. Him and I were going to try to, to work on that bartering farm. But when you're preparing to go on vacation, there's a million things you have to do. It's just so stressful. And so it would have been very stressful and rushed of, of him to try to get another episode out before he left. Hypno has a lava shop, sure. But I'm also not very rich when it comes to diamonds and getting lava is actually not hard. So, sorry, Hypno. If I, if every time I need something, I buy it from the shops, uh, I'll never have diamonds ever. <laughs> I, actually, I won't be able to, there's no way. There's no way. And things are more expensive this season than seasons past. Where can I put this? Oh, this is full block here. Okay. So we didn't do the corner right here. We're working on this side. Let's let's stick to it. Aw oh, man. <laughs> That's gone. Um one, two, three. That's it, right? We might have to make another trip to lava after or to the lava. To the nether after this. Bang, bang, bang. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> how crazy is Ed's villager riding a chicken? Hey, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I, I can't imagine how hard it was to get a zombie villager baby on a chicken and then have it grow up and heal it. Like, and then he had to 
had to roll for mending. I guess I didn't realize he wanted mending. I thought maybe it just happened on accident. Oh my gosh. We don't necessarily have to go back to the nether. We're only missing one, two, two sources. Did I go the right way? Full seven days of AFK to get that man. Okay, he was on a he was on a straight up mission. That's awesome. That's amazing. <laughs> Tyler, you're in the way. Uh, can't believe that it took him a week. That's amazing. I didn't get a chance to watch this video yesterday. We had the stream. See, I fixed it. <laughs> it says 100 in the front. Mm, mm, mm. Joel! And then Joel. Bye, Joel. Bye, Joel. Guarantee that was a, uh, a screenshot. That That's a screenshot login if I've ever seen one. <laughs> that's a screenshot login if I've ever seen one. Refresh, refresh the feeds, refresh the feeds. New new beans content coming soon. Gotta be. Skin change login? No. Cause he's 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 out. If he comes back in, then maybe. I don't know. He was in long enough to grab a screenshot, I think. Bad connection. Could be that too. Okay, so I've been told. Hopefully it works with glass. I didn't think about that. The reason I did glass is because I want to be I want to remember that this has got dangerous stuff in it. <laughs> you know? It's still bubbly. Huh. Does it count like this and this because that's lava and not blocks makes this bubble sound? It doesn't pop, but it will always bubble. Okay, it's not as bad at least. Okay. Let's see how let's see how what it sounds like from below. The music just happened to like Okay, it's come back now. I was gonna say the music just like happened to stop during that. Here's the thing. This this room was already This room was already noisy. Sorry, I hit my mouse. <laughs> It's cyberpunk bubbling, yeah. We were already surrounded by bubbling sounds, to be honest. We have bubble vaders here. This is a bubble vader, right here. Two of them. I think the mailbox, and then, yeah. And then we have another one here. And then we have another one here. And then now we got the lava. So just everything's just bubbling. It, this place is just a bubble fest. We're dealing with it. It's fine. I can always, uh, if I if I'm in here and it's driving me nuts, I can. I have a button. I just press. Done. You guys can still hear it. No, you can't. No, you can't. Okay. Yeah. So that just killed it for both of us. <laughs> I can just press a button on my stream deck and, it, and it's gone and it's gone okay so we'll have lava any chance we need it now sweet in fact I think uh, some of these were full already yeah if we go cheaty cam some of these are already filling up okay all right next up uh, I think I want a super smelter I think I want to deposit. I'm trying to figure out where I'll put this. This might be a little tight. 
to put it here with what we have to do redstone wise there. What I need is a chest that I can put items in for smelting. <laughs> That's cheating. You need the, the tango cheater. <laughs> cheating? <laughs> I need a couple things actually. I need I need a chest for the items we want to smelt. I need a chest for the lava buckets. Ooh. Lava buckets will get returned in the same way that items that get smelted will if I put a hopper underneath the furnace, right? Um I need a chest for the items to smelt, a chest for the fuel source, and then I need an output chest of things to be that got sorted. And I don't know where in this room I can sneak that in because we need redstone in the back. Right? Can you access the cauldrons underneath? Yeah, yeah. So like if, if any of these have lava in them, bah, got it. Hello. Hi, Jem. Hey, what doing? Shopping. Shopping. <laughs> That's what I get for leaving my door wide open, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what you looking for? Because uh, B-Dubs might have cleaned me out yesterday when he was shopping as well. No, I just took uh, some iron. Oh, okay. I see you got your cookies. Yeah, plenty of cookies everywhere. Thanks. I assume that was Scar. That was, was that you? That was me. <laughs> Thanks for the cookies, Jim. You're welcome. It's a lot of chest opening. I think I, uh, I think I might have rubbed off on you last is. season. <laughs> Ooh, you have no lot of nether work blocks. <laughs> uh, Skiz is out of. Yeah, isn't Skiz these. sell those? Does he? Does Skiz sell the nether ones? I'm stealing this. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. go for it. This one. Yep. Now you Go just spread them right with this. So I'll yep. feel that as well. Get the get the little mushroom guys. Bone mill, you got bone mill. No, you you're right. I should really grab some bone mill. You should well. really Thanks grab a stack pulse. of bone mill from there. Uh-huh. You bet. <laughs> yeah. You're the best. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm so giving. Oh my god. <laughs> you, you called the goat horn on the way out. You do it. Take your time. Definitely said that before she did it. Amazing. Oh. Guys, I'm sorry. I missed some biddies earlier. Holy smokes. Um, so sorry. Let me back up, guys, because I uh, I definitely missed some biddies, and it's been 30 minutes since I've taken a look. Hi, Prim. Prim's stretching out. Oh, gosh. Okay. Hi, Tango. Hi. I Did you come to do the stuff. item splitter discombobulator? No, I came to steal resources. Oh, that's... Yeah, it's open door policy, I that's guess. That's right. I mean, that's what I if, just saw. I if the door is uh, open, uh, I need some uh, stone. In. Oh, got. there's a shulker box full of it. Yeah, go for it. Are you sure? Yep. Go Whole for thing? it. Yeah, go for it. Woohoo! I stole it from Joe anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best thing. Yep. Yep. Is it time to shut the door? <laughs> I was gonna get I was gonna get caught up on my biddies here. Man. Uh I had to scroll down because jeez. Uh Shaggy Main, thanks for the 200 bits. If I didn't say so, Gray Meeple, thanks for the five gifts of bomb. Uh Chaotic Brando says it's my wife's birthday today. Well, happy birthday to your wife. Birthday. Hope your wife has a good one. Sorry for the delay on that. Uh Chaotic Brando. Thank you so much for the biddies. Hey, Raid coming in from OCU Gamer. Thank you for that. And Elwin with the 300 bits. Hey, Impulse, I just realized as of... Oh, gosh. Hi, Pearl. What doing? Hello. Get to shopping. Shopping? Oh, okay. Shopping. Sweet. Yeah, everything's... Uh... you're out of stock. Can you restock this chest, please? <laughs> What's this one? Mangrove? You're going to have to take that one up with Skiz. You're going to have to take that one up with Skiz. He's out of stock, too. Yeah. Well, you, you know. Okay. Well, thank you. That's all I was hoping for. Sure. You bet. Okay, I'll put it out of stock. Thank you. Yeah, bye you now. bet. See ya. Later. Well, I think we might need to, uh... <clears throat> I 
Shop is closed. <laughs> Shop is closed. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Elwin, thank you for 300 bits. Hey, Impulse just realized as of today, I've been watching you for a decade. Oh my gosh, really? Time flies when you're watching good content. Naked and Scared Season 3. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, yeah, I'm going to hit a marker on that. I, I set this up the other day. Or this morning, I mean. I don't think it did it. I don't think it did it. Do I have to... Shoot. I don't know. Maybe it did. It doesn't give me an indication that it did. I have a little timestamp thing. So when I'm recording and something happens, I hit a button and it, and it drops a timestamp on a notepad for me. <laughs> so I know when I'm editing what I need to go to. Voodoo Vandal. Thank you for the five gifts of bomb. Yeah, the last Imp and Skiz podcast, um, it was the life of a content creator or something like that. Or Anyway, Skiz and I went through how we do things. And, and, and anyway, I was in a rut with my editing at that moment when we recorded that. Because that was like four weeks ago that we recorded that. And I was really struggling with how I was capturing all the things that were going on on the server. And so basically, I am constantly recording at this point. Um, I just leave. I just let my... As soon as I start streaming, I'm recording the entire thing on a separate instance of OBS. I fixed it. It's clean now. I have all of my tracks separated again. Um, but the problem was I'd throw that on an on a editing tool like, like Premiere Pro, and I'd have to scan through it to look for moments. And sometimes I would forget things happened. Um, so now I just have a little button that I press. And it drops a timestamp every time it's something that might happen during a stream, and I want to actually like maybe put that in a video. I can just hit the button, and I'll I'll know exactly where to go in the recording. Getting smarter <laughs> after a decade, apparently, Ellen. <laughs> thank you, Fair Logic Nine. Thank you so much for the 200 bits. Hype for the hype train. Thank you, Stanley MC with a thousand bits. Watching the early part of the stream, it's so interesting how much uh, how much your development. Oh, yours and my development career mirrors each other. Developer, product owner, developer, manager, developer, product, and product owner. Yes, <laughs> that's exactly how it went down pretty much. Uh, big, uh, big, 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 uh, VW, thank you for the 500 bits. And Voodoo Vandal with a five gifted sub bomb. We're caught up, we're caught up. Thank you guys so much for your support. Um, not a hotkey, well, no, it's not a, a auto hotkey. It's just a stream deck button. That's mapped to a hotkey on OBS to to save a timestamp, basically. It's a plugin on OBS. Okay, okay, okay. Let's think about this, guys. I have this bit right here. I know I got my 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 diamond trophy. I got these things set up, but these weren't really meant to be permanent. But I could. I could move these over there. And then put our furnace thing here. I think I could do that. Do I just stack three double chests? I need to pull from the bottom of the chest is the problem. Which means there's hopper and stuff. Hmm. Will a lava bucket let's do some let's do some quick research here. Is it possible for me to send everything through one hopper line and have the furnace smart enough to know what's fuel and what's to be smelted? Let's redstone box this. All right, redstone on camera. Let's do it. Let's go. This is going to be fun. Uh, we'll stay in here. <laughs> we'll stay in here for this. I was going to go outside, and then I realized, like, oh, there could be those spoilers we talked about earlier. All right, let's do this. Furnace on top. Okay, you know we're going to feed it from the top and the back. Basically, what I'm thinking is, okay, something will want to go down before it goes over, right? So no matter what I do here, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go down and try to go in there and get stuck. That's where it's kind of problematic, I think. Hmm, that makes things difficult. I wish it was the other way around, actually. Right? Because what I was thinking was, if we sent everything through here, well, even then, stuff like a lava bucket that I'd want to go... Right now, if I put a lava bucket in here, 
it goes where I want it. But if we wanted to smelt some, let's just say terracotta. Actually, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's grab some sand. I have sand. Uh, but if I had sand, see that ends up going. <gasps> Wait. Oh, it went in the. Wait. I'm so confused. <laughs> it's getting split. It did get split. Okay, so as one was going here, this pulled the next. Yeah, okay. And we, and that concludes our tutorial for our item splitter discombobulator. <laughs> Didn't even need Tango. Didn't even need him. Item splitter discombobulator done. <laughs> yeah, so that's not gonna work because this items that want to get smelted are going to sit here because it can't go in here. So we do need to skadoodle. <laughs> so we do need to do a, a split line, basically. I was hoping there'd be some kind of clever way that, you know, maybe with an item filter attached somewhere in the system. Do I want to go to that trouble, though? Because that could be kind of cool. I think I might. Uh, we're going to get... This is going to be one of those things I'm going to start and realize I don't want to do this on stream. <laughs> Cuz I think here's 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 what I envision basically to move all this. Oh good. This will give me this will fix the uh all the people that were screaming about me having this backwards. Now it's going to be over here. I got to get rid of this barrel. As long as that barrel's there, I'm going to always have a junk drawer. I forgot I already have a junk drawer. <laughs> oh, Tango needed something from me. Shoot. I got to hook him up. I forgot about that. Why do I have this stuff? I mean, the Nautilus shell, sure, but these? Seriously? I have that stuff. I need a trash can as well. Here's what I'm gonna do. Oh no. It has too much junk. It's just for now. Because we're gonna be we're gonna be throwing away some stuff. Almost grabbed my shovel. Use someone's pockets. <laughs> uh that's, a, that's such a skiz thing. That's such a skiz thing to do. That's garbage. Is this garbage? I think I have a good fishing rod. Let me see. There we go. That's, that's the best fishing rod you can get, right? Wait till you have Swift Sneak 2. What do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean, Pearl? You lost me. Wait, you have Swift Sneak 2. Oh, wait, you have Swift Sneak 2. I said I read wait to wait till you have Swift Sneak 2. Uh-huh. I have Swift Sneak Sneak 3 though. Reading is hard. <gasps> you lost your pants yesterday? No! Oh, you want this book. You want this book. Okay, I see. I see. Come come get it. Come get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Okay, I hear all the punctuation now. It was more like, wait, you have Swift Sneak too? That's that's how that that's. Okay, come on in. Shop's open. Okay, guys. Come on, everyone, scream it. Everyone, scream it. Must be in between meetings. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> I wondered if I had... very well. Sorry, uh. I I can't read and stream at the same time. Swift sneak no, too. I didn't add any punctuation. I can't fault you on that. Nope. 
I was actually looking to see. Yeah, yeah. I was looking to see if I even had an upgrade for you. Like another Swift oh Snake 2. I've got a Swift I... Snake 2 already, which is why I was very oh, okay. intrigued in this. Oh, I had okay. one left over from our uh, raiding journeys, and I Sweet. I didn't really feel like paying 50 diamonds at uh, Clear. Oh, is that how so... much they cost? Oh my gosh. Yeah. And, okay. and I've lost two, pan two pairs of pants now. This is my third set of pants. Yesterday was rough. <laughs> Yesterday was rough, wasn't it? Yeah, I added four deaths to my tally. <laughs> I know you and Jem are comparing deaths. It's like, oh, we only have five deaths. Look, look at us go. We're pros. And then you died four times yesterday. I kept blowing myself up with those Let's stinking see. rockets. I'll make you feel better. I'll make you feel better. What is it? Is it times died? Yeah, times died. At the, the bottom of the stats, I believe. It's on the way down there. I mean, look, I already uh, feel a lot of pain for you yesterday. Like, oh. man. <laughs> 59. Oh. 50? How have you died 59 times? Have you ever watched a, a, a Friday night, uh, late night stream or whatever, after dark stream with uh, uh, Tango and Skiz? We, we basically go, asleep. <laughs> we go Bastion raiding, naked. Uh -huh. We go oh, Ancient City right. raiding, naked. Yeah. yeah. I remember the Fortress one. I saw <laughs> some of that. <laughs> yep, there was that one with the the Zitz stream. Okay. Yep, yep, naked. No, that makes sense, actually. We, uh, yeah. I don't know. Every time we get together, we just like get naked. I don't know what it is. You like taking off your clothes? Alrighty, <laughs> that's that's fine. If you do what you want to do, buddy, I ain't gonna judge. <laughs> don't it's don't ask about the hot tub either. Okay. It's still out there. It's still in the river. People ask me. Well, we hey, might want to use it again. At? You think we're gonna take it down? We had a good. We had a good time in it. You don't get rid of a hot tub. They ask me though, impulse. They're like, Pearl, <laughs> why is there a? Why is there some like a hot tub out here? I'm like, I don't know. I was Dango and impulse. Actually, I do. Don't know. worry. I tell we. Them the answer, but they ask me like as if I put it there. I'm we hired. A, in the river. We hired a guy to come clean it. You're 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 free to use it. It's. it's oh my uh, god. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. Oh, Solid, Jim. <laughs> Dear me. Uh, all right, well, Swiftsney. Well, thank you very much for... Whee! Yeah, thank you for that. Um, you don't want any diamonds, do no, you? You said no, you're no, poor. No. You sure? No. I'm good. I'm you good. You sure? It seems I'm like good. you really need some diamonds. You seem like you're a little bit short. I will... Uh, I'll take credit for some stamps or something. How about that? Credit for stamps. Okay, I'll give yeah. you some stamp coupons. <laughs> Perfect. That works. Okay, you can take like uh, let's just see, Swift Link to uh, uh you can take how how many do we think uh this is worth? Chat. How how many stamps? Swift Snake this, two, this book. two book. How many how many stamps is that worth? Let's leave it to them to decide, because I can't decide. Two stamps. <laughs> two how much stacks. Is, how much that's a lot. Heck no. <laughs> Lifetime supply. Wow, they're really Lifetime supply. <laughs> I see a lot of twenties. I see a lot of twenties. Twenties? That's 20. a lot of stamps. 20 stamps. How much do they sell for? Gosh, it's uh, it's one diamond for eight, or three di or five diamonds for okay. the whole bunch. So 20 is equivalent to almost three diamonds, basically. Um, yeah, roundabouts. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that works. I mean, I feel like tw as long as you use the mail system, you know, you're gonna use those stamps. Use yeah, 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 yeah. And, and don't worry, I've. Hold on, just gotta take care of one thing. <laughs> it totally wasn't in my inner Wait, chest. Uh, so. Oh, just, uh -huh, uh -huh, oh my gosh! Yeah. I got lit up in the comments for putting that <laughs> in my inner chest. In chest. Oh my goodness! <laughs> lit it's up. It's working then. Lit our, our up. Our security detail is is there. It's I'm happening. I'm surprised. It's I, I'm surprised they didn't run straight to your comments and tell on me. There. I All mean, right. I wasn't that bothered. Like, I know you put it in your inner chest, but it was, it was still a package. <laughs> you weren't using it for personal right. use. It was just I just hadn't had package, a chance basically. to empty the yeah. package. It's like, yeah, you, you ever get a delivery recycling. and you just set yeah. it by the front door. You're not ready to quite open it. You just set, you bring yeah. the package inside. You set it by the front door. You're going to open mm -hmm. it later. So at that point, yeah. it's still meant to be in the package. Yeah. It's, it's fine. It's still still a package. You weren't using it to yeah. store anything else. It was it was the original bits and bobs, literally. Uh, so, you know, yeah, it's all yeah. right. It's all right. We, we don't talk about it. We don't talk yeah, about it. It's all exactly. scam anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, no, I believe that. That's gross. I'm about to go into a business deal. That sounds like a good uh -oh. idea, doesn't it? Well, be careful. It can be a bit slimy. Just make sure yeah. you read the fine print. 
Well, I mean, he's got to stop bathing in honey. That might kind of solve his situation. Ah, oh, that's uh, yeah, he's very sticky. Very yeah, sticky, sticky used car salesman. Very sticky, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for the book. You can you get, uh, I'll, I'll let you get 20 stamps. Yes. That's okay. Lot. I'll let you know when, whenever I feel like, oh, you know, I think I'm running low on Corrales stamps right now because we've mm -hmm. had our correspondences, you know. If I come by and I get a little uh, booklet of Corral stamps, I'll let you know so you don't think that somebody else just, you know, <laughs> didn't pay. Uh, I trust you. It'll be all right. It's all okay. so good. <laughs> cool, cool. Okay. Good deal. Well, thank you very much. Life you saver. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Bye. Uh, yeah, seriously, the, the comments. I'm telling the postal lady that you stole the package. <laughs> it's like, oh, man. <laughs> Now the problem is okay. No, I'll just put that. I'll just put that clip in my video. I was gonna say now the problem is I fixed it off camera in a way. You know, we fix it on stream doesn't mean the YouTube people get a chance to find out what happened in the end. Um, I'll just make sure to. In fact, I gotta do. I gotta press the button, don't I? Hopefully it's working. Okay, I press the button. We'll put that clip in the video and then that explains that I've uh, I've made up for my my wrongdoing, I suppose. Oh. <laughs> uh. Um, oh, it is time to sit back down. So yeah, we can uh, we can bop while we while we sit back down. That's cool. We'll do a quick bop. Uh, yeah, and I'll grab the chair. I gotta, and then I'm gonna let Prim out. She, I think she can go out now. The pool guy's probably gone. So we shall bop. I gotta turn this down. Okay, be right back. Ooh, way to go. Good job. You gonna bop it up? I can bop if you want it. You can bop if you want to. If you leave our friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there's no friends of mine. You can bop if you want to. If you leave our friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there's no friends of mine. So we just go bop, 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 you can bop 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 You can bop 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 Wait My guy You can bop if you want to You can leave our friends behind But if your friends don't bop And if they don't bop Then there are no friends of mine You can bop if you want to You can leave our friends behind But if your friends don't bop And if they don't bop Then there are no friends of mine So we just go bop 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 you can bop 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 You can bop 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 Perfect You can bop if you want to You can leave our friends behind But if your friends don't bop And if they don't bop Then there are no friends of mine You can bop if you want to You can leave our friends behind But if your friends don't bop And if they don't bop Then there are no friends of mine Alright You can't just get me started I think I I like a little push car, dude you know what I, mean? <laughs> I actually like that rendition. That was great. <laughs> and we're done. There it is. I was waiting to see how many seconds behind the stream was for you. <laughs> it's quite far behind. I as, actually need to refresh as, the as stream. As Pearl dances now. another five seconds after the song ends. I love that. <laughs> it's so far behind. I, I, I don't uh, need to refresh it. It, it was freezing a bit for me earlier today. Oh, that'll so do it. It's that'll a bit, do it. bit behind. Appreciate it, the, uh, I, I the entertainment. The bop, man. <laughs> as I yeah. stepped away, <laughs> you came back for the bop. Oh, she left the mic on. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> People love that okay, segment yesterday. People love that. They're like, you gotta put that in your video. That <laughs> you was so I much fun. Yesterday. I love the bot, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I might have to do it. I might have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'll go now. I promise I'll go now. <laughs> okay, see you later. <laughs> Thanks for the bop. Ooh. Did we get mail during that? I feel like this is an advertise. I'm just gonna look at it and then I'm gonna put it back. <laughs> Thanks for not banning me from your storage. 
<laughs> oh, a little Prezi from Jeb. Okay, amazing, amazing. Okay, here's the thing. Um, do I have a core? I do. It's dead. I want to waterlog something. I want to waterlog that. So it's anyway. I'll do that later. Okay, we'll put this away and I'll put the. I'm I'm getting too many of these actually. I, I'm running out of room to uh, put them in there. Thanks, Jem. I could always use some coral. <laughs> and she's gone. I just need to send more mail. Yeah, the only way to get rid of it is to send. Okay, here we go. I I don't know how I've gotten so many. I think you over. You gave me too many. Too many mail. Too many of these. All right, let me let me clean out my inventory. I'm going I'm going crazy right now trying to. I'm trying to organize my 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 place here. But I have too much stuff on me. Oh my gosh, the cookies. Jam. Uh, helps if I didn't have like a single rocket, a sing a five carrots, you know. Including the empty ones, you just got to send, send, send. I know, right? Just start getting rid of them. Yeah, I just realized I don't really have food. A food chest. I guess this kind of counts. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting junk. I just start sending out junk mail. Yeah, that's, that's what we need to do. That's definitely what we need to do. Okay. What was my whole point? I was trying to clean this out. And I was trying to clean this out. Okay, we're back on track. Sort of. We're back on track. So much junk. Send what you don't want to me. That's gonna cost me stamps. I think I'm I think that's what the problem. I'm being frugal with my stamps. I think that's what's holding me back. Ooh, where would I put this? Probably here. <laughs> I just got 20 free ones. Yep, yep. Yeah. So we're we're good. We're good. We can we can afford it. We can afford it. Um bricks. Bricks, bricks, bricks. This is clay. Okay, yeah. That goes there. Sure. Just gotta gotta utilize it more. Actually, I might want to keep that out. What was the other thing I just put away? An anvil? Yeah, I need that too. Okay, we're getting there. Send some ads to hermits. I know, I need to do something with the frog light stuff. I promised Etho that I would do more frog light advertising, and I haven't done a ton of it, so... Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll send out, I'll send out free samples of frog lights. I'll send out two of the three colors and then if they want the the advancement, they have to buy the th come buy the third color. Right? <laughs> that would work, wouldn't it? If they really want the advancement, they got to they got to buy they got to buy that last one. They could just go pick it up like like examine it from his shop. I guess they could. I'm gonna forget these are in there. What do we have in this? Basically every little build I've been doing, I have a little bit left over every single time that I need to actually like go through and put away stuff. You can almost like see the building. You know what I mean? You can look at this shulker box and know exactly which building I built with this shulker box. <laughs> Ante Samhain! Aunt Ante? Uh, got your name? I, I put your names. That's what I do. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Gotta do graffiti ads and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot. We, there's, there's a lot we could do to help, to to make up for, for this. Okay. Uh, 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 thank you, Jim. I don't know why I always I keep saving these notes. <laughs> it's they're starting to add up in here. I have so many like random notes. Those are not fun to harvest. All right, now we can get rid of this guy. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, because I had to walk through here. I'll have to close that off. All right, what did we have set up before? It was... 
We could set the ender chest on top of something. We definitely need a crafting station. We had an anvil, but I think I'll put the anvil on top of that. Okay. Can we get away with something like this? That doesn't look terrible. And then ender chest. I do have a storage system for mail only. Oh, oh, you mean like anytime we get a package just to like quickly unload it. Just, just to put the package back. So I don't try to act to, to put it away like I did that one. That might work. Uh, Dang it! Great. I have no idea. I have no idea how to turn that back into the trophy. I have no idea. It's got some sort of data value. Do we have a spreadsheet somewhere I can quickly like look up the data value? Oh, <laughs> uh, what is it? Trigger custom data model set 21. That's no, you're way off there. It's got to be way further down the line. Okay, now we're talking. That's 250, so we're we're short. It would just be There we go. Haha, -ha, never happened. You guys never know the uh those are actually just custom data models of carved pumpkins, right? We fooled you. Okay. Haha. -ha. Perfect. <clears throat> I know. I know. I got so much heat. I got so much heat on my video for putting it backwards. Um, it's not named anymore, though. It's not named anymore. He had it named in like a, a way that the text was in a different color and stuff. I don't know how he did that. I'm, I'll just ask him. Okay. All right, we moved stuff over. That was the point. Okay. So, oh, that's ugly. I was going to put hoppers underneath the chest here, but the hopper is going to show because we have a slab down here. Basically, what I'm looking to do right now is make a, a furnace input. But if I put a hopper under that, it's going to be it's going to be a, a go. I could actually tuck the chest down. Right. Save some room there. Put the chest there. And now you won't. Yeah, that's probably the way to go. That'll work. Gives us more room to do stuff above it, too. Like, I probably could have snuck this in. Well, I guess the chest wouldn't open then. So we got to be careful what we want end up putting on top of here. Barrel would work. Yes. Then you don't have to worry about opening it. You can actually put stuff on top. Man, I didn't have to move my setup at all. We could have just done the barrel in the first place. Oh, Sag. Okay. All right. Well, we were only smarter. If we were only smarter. Um. Okay, which way should we put the barrel? Probably this way? Yeah. I'll put another one there. Actually, now what we could do is have one be the fuel and the other be what we want smelted. And then we don't have to do any sort of thing. Right? Yeah. Yep. In and out. In and out burger. Uh, no, we need to have fuel as well. So the output might have to go to a separate place. But yeah, we could have input and fuel. That would work. Okay. Okay. Now we're cooking with with gas 
as Ren would say. Peanut oil. Skiz would say peanut oil. Ren says gas. Oh, don't worry about that. Um, <laughs> here we are. Output above. Yeah, we could. Because this is going to come out way down here. I need to I need to open this up so I can just come in and out. <laughs> All right. Got hoppers. So yeah, we'll just take a hopper line out of here into an elevator. And I could probably put the elevators next to each other even. Couldn't I? Be fine. Now we're cooking with coal. Now we're cooking with lava. Doesn't sound right, does it? Uh Okay. I don't have droppers in here. I gotta make some droppers. Now we're smelting with lava. Oh. <laughs> we're, uh, we've used a lot of stone this season. I might have to, uh, I might have to go see if Joe's got got some extra cobble. No, actually, you, there's plenty of cobble. Cobble's not a problem. I'm going to go get that. Our whole leaving the door open didn't last long, did it? <laughs> I think we took all the stone out of here, but not the cobble. There we go. Uh, some of the cobbles were taken. A lot of nice andesite in here. Diorite. Wouldn't be surprised if B-dubs took a little bit of diorite. Uh-oh. I got you, B-dubs. I got you. Keep working, B-dubs. Keep working. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, I got you. Can't stop, won't stop. Christian Ux, thanks for the 100 bits. I now play Dragon's Dogma 3 with a bop song in the background. That's amazing. <laughs> Uh, Big of VW, thank you so much for 300 bits. Wanted to thank you and Skiz for the What's Stopping You podcast. It inspired me to lose just over 120 pounds. Whoa. Big and not so big anymore. Jeez, congratulations. That's amazing. Um, thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. I'm glad the podcast uh, struck struck whatever it needed to strike uh, for you to, to uh, not just kind of want it, right? And really want it and get after it. That is a massive W. Amazing. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, that is not an easy feat. Not an easy feat. Trust me, I know. I've been, I've been trying to, I've been trying to uh, fix things myself for uh, a couple years now, and uh, it's a journey. It's it's definitely a journey, uh, a learning process for sure. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to. Yeah, I want it. I want it to go up right here. So if we have, this might be challenging because these droppers are gonna want to fire together, basically, depending on how we power them. I'm gonna try to sneak a furnace array. I know I say I say array weird sometimes. Uh, I'm gonna try to sneak a furnace array in this space right here. I think my current mission one dropper and do a bubble column then I can't really have them side by side right we got it we got to keep the items separated I think we can manage this though let me cut these back out mm. we'll go bang 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 and now anytime we put stuff in here and or here it'll get sucked into the elevator there and then we'd hide that wall completely. That's perfect. All right. Now we just need to do some magic on the outside. Okay. I forget how to start these elevators. Um, there's a torch tower way to do it. I don't know if it's silent. I might need to look this up. Because even if you try to tell me in chat, I will probably not understand what you're saying. Because I I'm not a uh, I can't read words and visualize it. Usually I, I need to see pictures. I need some maybe some powered rails. Definitely have observers. There's like completely silent ones. Yeah. 
if you do the torch the torch way right it can be silent but i think there's a way to do observers as well where it's silent isn't there um i know the storage system i used last season had a completely silent item elevator why go up when there's more space underneath uh, Uh, I think I want to go up. <laughs> I think I want to go up. Because I'm already utilizing this. Like, I want to have, I kind of want to have floors that have function here. So it's kind of nice to go up. I just x-rayed. Oh, my gosh. I wanted to show that there was water down there, and I didn't want to deal with the water. Uh, yeah, no, it's fine this way. I just need to figure out how to do the silent, uh, the silent item elevator silent dropper elevator i'm you know i'm just gonna look i'm just gonna look i know you guys could probably explain to me it's just the the starting off point here right where it's like got this and this and then there's some kind of clock thing that needs to happen right before what i would do is i would just have this go into an observer clock but then that definitely makes noise it works but it makes noise so I think I'm going to look it up. There's uh, something to do with a note block. Sorry, I'm going to, I got to Google it. I got to Google it, guys. Minecraft. Let's see, what do we Google? Minecraft silent dropper elevator. There it is. I just, that's all I needed. It is done with torches. There is an observer one, but I got a feeling it's not silent. I'll do the torch one. I'll just I'll just go off of this one. It's it, I, it's kind of nice when oh it's not tileable though. That's kind of problematic. It's not tileable. It's gonna share dust with each other. Okay, I have mine directly next to each other. So not only do I need a silent dropper elevator, I need a tileable, tileable, silent dropper elevator. I don't think I spelled tileable right. Aha! Uh -huh. I found one. I need. Okay. Quickly. Need one. This is. Pause that. Okay. Just need a side screenshot. Stop it. I'm not getting a good screenshot of this. Show more. Okay, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I don't know if it's actually going to be silent. Because I didn't watch the whole video through, you know. We're, we're gambling now. I put a comparator on dirt. Oh, no. We don't have enough space. We need... We need two more blocks back here. Oh no! Shoot. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. If we did Bubble Vader instead, I could have. I could have. A bubble column here, and then just one offset back one, and I, or over the side here, so we could have one right here. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to do bubble vaders, guys. We're gonna have to do bubble vaders because I have two. I can't go the. I can go one with this way, but I can't go one that way because I got stuff there. Bubble vaders are easier anyway. Just make the building bigger. Done. Um, I will come back through the wall, so that's still gonna be there. So basically, it'll go through here, and then we just need to we just need to shoot this up. That should be easy enough. Actually, I'm a little bit worried if we have space for this. Even we're low enough, though. I was I was doing the wrong one anyway. I was messing up anyway. This is why we don't do redstone on Steam. Yeah, we're under the building at this point. 
perfect. So we'll do a clock off of this one. Uh, nope. Wrong thing anyway. Mm. Best redstone circuit on the planet. More blocks. That there, that there. Okay. Now, there we go. Bubble call them up. This one's gonna have to shoot over to the side here. So we'll put a bubble column here and then one here and then it'll be fine. Perfect. And then I could run the circuit off this way. Okay. All right, we're getting there. Glass ovator. Oh, you gotta do three by threes with those, right? I mean, I guess it's similar. We, we, have to, we have to block the water off, so it's not much different. Let's just make sure this is gonna work. I got a feeling, I, I, I'm like worried I'm missing something here, but I think we're good. Okay, that'll make it up to there. Uh, I can always extend it. Proof of concept at the Can moment. You dig it? Can you dig it? Don't wanna go in there. Oh, I had a couple can you dig it's come in. Hold on, hold on. You guys are being so generous today and I'm sitting here trying to think about my redstone. Oh, uh, there was a can you dig it from Voodoo Vandal for $25. Can you dig it? Thank you so much. No message, uh, Voodoo Vandal, but thank you so much for the $25. You're amazing. And the five gift sub bomb. Voodoo Vandal being amazing today, guys. Thank you so much. If you get gifted a sub, make sure you say thank you. Super kind. And then again, Voodoo Vandal with the $50. Can you dig it? Oh, is it a, 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 a request for the bop song again? Maybe that's what I need. Okay, I know we listened to it once. Uh, we'll do a m maximum cap of two times per stream with the box, bop song. Uh, so we don't get sick of it, even though it's amazing. And I can't imagine anybody would. But uh, Voodoo Vandal, since you're being so amazing today, we will play the bop song once again for you. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna focus and we get these elevators working during this. So... Uh, it's my focus up song. Here we go. Ooh, way to go. Good job. All right, are you going to bop it up? I can bop if you want it. You can bop if you want to. If you leave our friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there's no friends of mine. You can bop if you want to. You can leave our friends behind. But if your friends don't bop, and if they don't bop, then there's no friends of mine. So we just go bop, bop, bop. If your friends don't pop, and if they don't pop, then there are no friends of mine. Bye. You can pop if you want to. You can leave our friends behind. But if your friends don't pop, and if they don't pop, then there are no friends of mine. So we just go bop, bop, bop. Voodoo Vandal, you're amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Super generous of you. <laughs> that ending's the best, isn't it? And we're done. 
So yeah, one of the elevators has soul sand, the other one doesn't. Um, just the way the droppers are in here. Uh, and that's fine. I, I don't really think they need to come up super fast. This is not that far to go anyway. So it's cool. But I did do soul sand on this one. This one's probably going to be the, the actual items that we are to have smelted. So it might be nice to get those up a little faster. No big deal. Either way. Okay. So, oh, I need to do the redstone circuit for this still. I did the water way too soon. Uh, oh, I see the problem. I see the problem. We need redstone signal to come into there and there's water there. So that's not gonna work. We need to... Uh, might just do another dropper facing up here. And if I power that, if I strongly power that, it's not going to strongly power it, is it? Uh, it's going to mean there's always an item left, which isn't good. So there, there goes our whole soul sand idea. Um, how to fix, how to fix, how to fix. First off, let's do this so that we don't have a mess. And then... Hmm. Take my soul sand back since I seem to have a problem keeping that in stock. If we end up doing the same thing we did here, let's see what happens. Oops. Lots of dirt. I can't believe I'm putting redstone on dirt. Oh, I can't do that. There's redstone there. Uh, We could do like the old one. Let's see. We power that block. I just extend the signal out. No, that's going to power that too. I'll just do a hopper here. And then we'll go off of that one. I know, Chatsy, I'm I'm not looking at you guys. I'm not looking at you for very good reason. Because you guys are screaming at me what to do. Hello? Hello? I hear someone here. Hi, Scar. Hi, Scar. Oh, jeez. What are you doing? Ah! Jeez! That's a colorful entrance, if I've ever seen one. I almost died. You, you tried to kill me and you almost killed yourself. Oh my gosh, I, well, I didn't even have my boots on. Oh my, yeah, you are. You came in here, no armor whatsoever. I come over here to Hawkeye you and I Hawkeye myself. Jeez. Is it considered hot guying with a, with a firework crossbow scar? I mean, it feels a little different, doesn't it? It's Hawkeye shotgun. Oh, Hawkeye shotgun. Okay, okay. Fair enough. It's the lag. It's hard to get a good shot with Velocity so, these days on the so server. So you've gone with a shotgun approach. Can't yes, miss I have. That <laughs> Did you that see that? That, was, that? I literally just dispensed like five diamonds right there. That was a lot of... What? <laughs> Dude, that took me it to turns like out these hearts. diamonds... Well, the, 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 the fireworks use a lot of um, fireworks. Or... I can't speak. I just went on this epic rant impulse, and I'm still coming down from it. <laughs> oh no! So I'm, I'm still coming down from it. But, uh -huh. but this this rocket that I shot off was at least two diamonds. It cost to make that single firework. Oh my gosh! It was very <laughs> colorful. Went wild. It was it was very it, colorful and nice. I liked it. It was very colorful. My life flashed before my eyes, but then it turns out I was still alive after that. So, did you take any heart damage? I did. I was. I think it took like six off of me. Really? Yeah. You wanted oh, so more. It did work. Mm -hmm. It worked. Mm -hmm. Just wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. I'm so pretty. So what buff. are we working on over here, Impulse? Uh, furnace. I gotta get. Ooh. I gotta get a little smelting system put in here. I've been running nice. back and forth, you know, from my storage room to my crack, and and I'm tired of it. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. You gotta seal the crack up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, however, at the moment, there's there's not a way out of here for you, really. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, I, I noticed that. Thank God I've got nerd pearls. Here you go. Look at this. Oh, I'm becoming okay. an honorary redstoner. Okay. Luckily, I covered the lava. Wow. Oh, you did cover the lava. Yeah, you're good. Over here is the ladder down and out. <laughs> All right, I'm heading over. Look at me. Look at me being a redstoner with my I know, and I don't even have my nerd pearls on me. What? I usually do. I love the ladder animation with the... Uh, of the like extra one where you actually like look like you're climbing ladders. <laughs> Wait, what? There's there's I'm confused. There's a animation that makes ladders go different? Like when you're it when you're climbing the ladder, it makes the character look like they're actually climbing the ladder, like their legs are bent and they're 
the climbing up and down. Like, really? Yeah, I can send you the thing. It's like extra, That's extra neat. animations or something. Extra, extra animations. I want extra, extra animations. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. I'll send it to you. It's the one that had me shimmying on my horse, but then they fixed that. And I was kind of sad they fixed shimmy it, to be honest. Your horse. <laughs> you remember the, the horse shimmy? I do remember that. I do. That was that was you just like wiggling your chest. Yeah, I was like right clicking and it would like wiggle, wiggle, do a little chest wiggle like Terry Crews. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta pop those pecs. Gotta pop those pecs. Pop the pecs. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I used to be able to make my pecs uh, dance back when I was a swimmer. Oof. I bet. It takes a lot of pec muscles to, to swim. I I was quite the specimen. Goodbye, Impulse. See ya. Hey, we're getting a lot of visitors today. Fantastic. Power. <laughs> yeah, you guys remember that? What was that? Like episode, I don't know, two or three? Just felt my eyes burn in this. Oh, man. Allergies. So bad. Um... It was, yeah, it was early. And then they, and then the, uh, the actual person that made the mod saw it in my video and was like, oh, you found a bug that we didn't know existed. And then they fixed it, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I know somebody was saying, oh, we could shoot it up through soul sand if we still want the bubbles. I don't, I'm not like super worried about the bubbles. It's, it's seven blocks, if that. Uh, eh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I think these blocks right here, this block needs to be... Okay, this is risky. <gasps> no! Come on! I placed that in time! Was I in my own way? I was in my own way. Ah, uh, come on! I placed that in time. That was rude. <laughs> I had that. I had it. It was flawless. Come on, no. What did we wash out? Everything. Everything got washed out. It's fine. It's fine. We've got this this one memorized, so we're good. Bang. Okay. All right. We have two input systems. I should label them. That'd be funny if I just opened it up again. Ooh, you gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I kind of feel like... Let's see. I kind of feel like we should name these. It's like smelting... I'll go get them. <laughs> smelting input. Smelting output. Okay. That one made it. That one... Made it. Perfect. Okay. They don't take that long. This is a fun project. I like these little projects like this. These are the kind of things that I, I really enjoy doing in Minecraft. Um, smelting input. So basically the items that you want to get smelted. And then uh, smelting fuel. That's what I need. The output's going to be somewhere else. Okay. So we'll go fuel here. Hope it won't make a difference when we get up top. Okay. Those weren't water sources. Had to have been. Right? Uh, we can go kelp it again just to make sure. If it was flowing down, I don't think the items would have made it up. Maybe you're right. I'll just kelp it. Just to be sure. I think the items would have got stuck if there was water flowing down. Okay. Now we know for sure. It's all water sourced. Love kelp. I love that you can do that with kelp. Okay. Smelting input. Smelting fuel. Okay. So now the idea is that if you put... So here you would want to put the lava bucket, right? Um, we should go up and figure out exactly where our furnaces are going to go. We're going to need a lot. We're going to need... I don't know. How many How many furnaces should we do? Just eight would probably be fine, right? We don't need to go super crazy. Ooh. But I had enough to make 16. 
I was right about the Joel video. Joel released. Joel released. I was right. He came in, grabbed that thumbnail. Bang. <laughs> Look at me. I know my logins, guys. I've been doing this. I've been doing this a long time. I know I know what a thumbnail login looks like. <laughs> uh all right. It is a bit tight here. So to the person that said you should do it underground, maybe you were right. Um I could go I could go here. Like maybe up two blocks. And just do eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Or we could potentially keep going all the way to the wall. 16 feels like a lot. How many times did we need to smelt that much at once? I'm more worried about keeping the fuel going. Hmm. I'm gonna go with eight for now. We'll keep it, we'll keep it simple. I'll go with eight for now, and then I can I it looks like I, I do have room to expand it if we ever need to. Right. So we'll take start to send it back. Anything that comes out of this guy. And then I'll bring these up and around and flow them across. So we flow them across. We probably want to do the thing with the minecart that distributes them evenly. I think I'm going to do a little research on which furnace system I want to use. Because there's two ways to do it. You can run a hopper line across. And then as soon as the last item reaches the end of the hopper line, it unlocks the hoppers all at once. And they drop in an item. And it just does that over and over again. Or we could we could fill up a minecart and have it roll over tracks that are on top of hoppers. The difference being with the hopper system... We could actually put containers on top of it to reduce some lag. Whereas if you have a hopper minecart going over the top of hoppers, then you can't cover them to reduce lag. And yeah, we're only talking well we're we're talking 16 hoppers that would be uncovered, right? Cuz you got the ones on the on the back and the ones on the top that it needs to do. So I think I'll do the other way. You think the minecart one is actually less lag even though we're going to expose we're exposing 16 open hoppers, right? Does the timed hopper one have a bug? Oh, and we're probably in... Uh, oh, well, interestingly enough, we don't cross any... <laughs> uh, we don't actually cross any chunk borders, so... Uh, if it's chunk border-based uh, bug, then that might be okay here. All right. Well, let's just set up the infrastructure... Anyway, uh, I need more hoppers. Let's get them. Let's get them. The hopper minecart breaks and world downloads and bedrock. <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's. Uh, I don't know if there's ever gonna be that thing where, like, obviously we want we we want the bedrock versions to work for y'all, but like, I don't know if we're ever going to design our stuff based off of bedrock mechanics, you know what I mean? Because imagine Tango was trying to make decked out bedrock playable from the get-go. That would have been rough and probably impossible. Pro probably impossible. So probably, unfortunately, not something that we will worry too much about. Plus, I'm not familiar enough with bedrock mechanics to even understand what would break and what wouldn't. I'm going to have to get used to my stuff being on this side now. Okay. <clears throat> no matter what we do, we have to have hoppers coming out the back and the top. There's no getting around that. So we'll get that in. And... Bedrock redstone doesn't work on Java. Or vice versa, right? For the most part. Um, my item sorter works on bedrock now I believe it used to have an occasional 
bug that items wouldn't get sorted properly. Okay, smelted items. We did this in the right order, right? If I was to really keep this like really simple and just had water flow across the top, that would probably be a bad idea. But basically this pipe right here needs to come over and go into something that's going to feed the these hoppers here. And then that pipe needs to come around the back and feed these. And then all the output will get sent back. So let's figure out how the output's going to make its way back. And then I'll figure out how we're actually doing the redstone for it uh, later today, maybe. Mm -mm. Bedrock mechanics equal Java mechanics, but you're blindfolded. Inverted mouse and everything in the, and and everything is in the Klingon language. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. I haven't played a lot of Bedrock, to be honest, so I'm not familiar with all the nuances. All right, let's let's go down and see where do we want the output to go, guys. Do we want the output to be like a double chest just above it, like that? So basically, that's all we need to do is feed back into that. Have we kind of, have we made a mis uh, <laughs> any way to even possibly do that though? At this point, like where would, how would we do it? There's water everywhere. I would have to like hopper here into the back and then over that way probably. Right, even the hopper here right now is gonna cause a problem, but not a big problem. I'll just blood right there right okay so let's say we did that and now we could feed through here pick this up put that back that back where's the water is it right here no the hoppers there okay so Without causing any aesthetic things, hopper line instead of glass. Oh, just to, well, the problem with that is hoppers have these, these weird hitboxes, right? So if I did the hopper line all the way up right here, like you're suggesting, it creates a problem in the, in the uh, water tunnel. I, I have to free cam this, the only way to do it. Um, so basically, yeah, you're saying like this could be It'd be here. This this is this could be hoppers coming all the way through here. But then when this dropper dispenses items, they get caught in this little space here, which we've already got an issue with that, don't we? Potentially do. Yeah. Just having that hopper right there is already problematic. Uh, trying to do stuff in tight spaces is is difficult. Very difficult. Um I could have one of these columns be uh, hoppers coming down. Maybe this space right here. Uh huh. Right here. I need to go here instead. That's it. Okay. Okay, we solved it. We're good. We're good. Just got to move this guy over and it won't be problematic. Let's do this again. Uh huh. That'll float in there, right? Yeah. Okay, that can go back. Hopper's gonna go here. Chest. Solving problems is fun. Yeah, this is all safe. So now we can now we can do what you said. Hopper stack up right here. There's nothing going on here, right? Um, visually, you'll see it, but do we care? I don't think we care, right? So we'll just do this. Bang. Okay, so we got to send our output basically to there. I'll cover these with, with uh, composters and stuff. This one we don't need to get super fancy with, but I'm out of hoppers. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. That's why they make trapdoors, yeah. So we can cover that 
I mean, eventually I was going to have like all, all sorts of workstations stacked up anyway, I think. But with the chest now, I mean, I could change that to a barrel as well. I, I think I just want more space. So yeah, we, we can cover this with some sort of trap, trap door thingy. I don't know what. Because all the ones we use in here have holes in them. So I'm not sure which trapdoors we would use. Banners or something, maybe. I don't know. Or we leave it open. Sting steampunk. That's <laughs> Anytime it's like... <laughs> I just would get lazy. Like, ah, we don't need to worry about it. Steampunk. I haven't said steampunk. Cyberpunk. That's what I meant. Uh... Either way, you can pretty much leave mechanical stuff exposed, right? All the punks. We got all the punks. Pearl's doing solar punk. I heard Pearl explaining her solar punk to uh, Tango earlier, and he he heard soul punk. I, I was thinking about right about now. Punk soul brothers, check it out now. <laughs> when he thought she was saying soul, that, that's what popped into my head. <laughs> We do have a lot of hermit punk stuff going on. It's crazy. Okay. Perfect. Let's smell something real quick, just for fun. Here, guys, let's let's test our hopper line. So, item two smelt comes in the top. Fuel source comes in the back. Bada bing, bada boom. That's going to load faster than it can smelt, obviously. All right. And now we basically have like a like a hidden furnace array up top. Love that. Love that. We made like functional and aesthetically pleasing. Like this ceiling looks cool. And it has so much function. I'm guessing there's lava almost in every single one of these by now. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so I'll just come in here every once in a while. Oh, yep. Grab all that. Throw it in here. Bang. And then that's it. And then we know we know we got fuel in the system. Oh yeah, we need like a Well, we'll have well, I'll just have to grab buckets out of here. I'll just have buckets ready, ready to go at all times in here, maybe. A, a bunch. I'll just grab them and, and walk around. Uh, however, right now I need to go get those. I need to go get those because they're all going to despawn because they're not actually going anywhere. So let's go grab those real quick. Oh, so much grass. I need to open my grass shop. That's too much lava to just let go. Alright. Nice. In fact, I'm going to just go ahead and load these up. Mm -hmm. okay. Sweet. All right, and if everything is going to plan, that means we should be getting our glass. Aha! And the bucket. Right, it uses the bucket. So the bucket gets returned. So we might as actually, we might store the buckets in here, right? We really need, how many did we put here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, 32? Thirty-two. I got it right! I got it right. Is it 32 or 42? Is it 42? No. It's 32. <laughs> it was 14 plus 18. That's 32. Yes. Okay. Woo! Three hours, guys. We're on we're going on three hours of streaming here. And I did that math. That was pretty good. That was pretty good math. Come on now. Give me some credit. I did some math. Pretty fast. Flawlessly. <laughs> Random numbers. <laughs> oh. Y'all need to practice your math skills. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put these in here for now. That's how we have an actual input. Sweet. 
I don't know how we're going to cover this. I have no idea how we're going to cover this to, to, to where it would look good. Because, like, really the only trap door that's, like, full on if you want to really hide something would be something like spruce. But it doesn't really... I mean... I guess we have, like, the woods right there, but... Yeah, I might have to go with some paintings or something. Something more cyberpunky, Because this is pretty meh. I guess the, the dark oak has trapdoors, too, that are... I don't care for them, really. Yeah, maybe a couple paintings would work. Just throw up two 2x2 two two paintings right there. We probably have it, actually. I have one. I have one painting. Okay. Any more paintings? It's just wool and sticks, isn't it? For paintings. Oh no. It doesn't matter what wool I use, does it? I'm like, I'm running out of wool. I think I need to go on a trip real quick. Just wool and sticks, okay. We'll go on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. To the wool farm. Gotta get wool. <laughs> I haven't loaded this thing in forever. Uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Sorry, my kids watched a lot of Little Einsteins when they were young. Good show. And then they got older and they watched Phineas and Ferb. Good show. They never really got into SpongeBob. Surprisingly. Perfect. I don't know if I like the uh, skull. Do we like? Doesn't matter. What do we think? I don't even know what other 2 by 2s they have. Spiders. Skull. Oh, wither. We want a wither in here. Actually, that kind of fits. Those kind of fit. Could shake it up and do some like one by, yeah. You know what I mean? We could, we could do. Two by one, and then a one by one, and then another one by one, stuff like that. Maybe that's better. I don't know. The wither kind of looked good, though. But the, we could just redo this one with the wither one. That's kind of cool, too. Okay. Cool. All right, I think I'm going to wrap things up here, guys. Who shall we raid? We see who's who's streaming. It's been fun hanging out. Thank you guys so much. James Dusk, thank you for the 120 bits. Uh, Voodoo Vandal, thanks again for all the crazy support. You're amazing. Uh, let's raid. Oh, man. Tempting. Oh, tempting, tempting, tempting. Uh, I think... I think with Tango just coming back from vacation, I think let's go ahead and raid him. Scar is also streaming, so take your pick, of course. But... Uh, with Tango missing so much time from streaming, let's, uh, let's send him some love. He's literally just fired up his stream. Where did he go? So, you get to catch the entire thing from start to finish. It's amazing. Literally just started. Okay, guys, I'll load you up for Tango. Obviously, you, you uh, you're free spirits. You can, you can go where you like, but I'll officially raid Tango. Tiny Tina, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Thank you, thank you. Yesterday was your birthday. Well, before we go, one last... Happy birthday to you, Tiny Tina. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. All right, guys. Have a good rest of your day. I will see you again potentially tomorrow afternoon for some Phasmo. If not, I'll see you Friday. Have a good one, everybody. See ya. The pits.